School as well as Grappi High School and Highmount Community School on Friday. Police continue to sink an unknown suspect in both incidents. Also on Tuesday, a bomb threat at Brookfield Elementary was determined to be a swatting incident. Could an unprecedented decision in a Michigan court come to Wisconsin? Jennifer and James Crumley became the first parents sentenced for a conviction of involuntary manslaughter in a mass shooting on Tuesday. Criminal defense attorney Jonathan Lavoy tells WTMJ. Whether it comes to Wisconsin will really depend on the facts of the case. I think there has to be severe facts related to the parents' behavior, that the parents knew what was happening with the gun, that they provided the gun to the student, and that there were likely scenarios that could have prevented this. The Wisconsin crime statute has party to crime liability, meaning those who aid or abet a crime can be held responsible. According to the latest government report, inflation isn't budging. Consumer prices were 3.5% higher in March than they were a year ago, inching upwards slightly and coming in slightly higher than expectations. ABC News reports shelter and gas are two areas that recorded higher prices, but prices for utilities and some grocery items decreased in March. Families are spending about $200 more a month than they were a year ago, and people are spending about $1,000 a month versus three years ago. Rent was one of the biggest reasons why prices were significantly higher or higher than expected in this latest government report. This has been your news update. The Tory Low Show is next on 1017 The Truth. We need each other. That's facts. I need, I need us, my sisters. I need my brothers out here. A coward dies a thousand deaths, and for all the bootlickers, may you die a thousand and one. The place for the realest conversations. Tori, you want all the action? Or you want all the smoke? Oh, this I, I, I'm with all that smoke too, man. I didn't see Ron Johnson. He trash. Chisholm is trash. How the hell are you here to help us and your kids are dying in the street? I understand that this is Milwaukee and everyone believe that if someone say something, it's mentioned. It's not. I don't care if it's the past. If you see the past or acting right, you check that fool. Where's the results? Talking topics that need to be highlighted and discussed in our communities. Would you trade places with a black person? I don't know, sir. No, I would not. <laughs> Have you ever said the N word? Come on, be the ready? truth. We on the truth. <laughs> Unfiltered and unfazed, this is the Tory Lowe Show on 1017 The Truth and The Truth app. The reason I believe the racism is getting worse is because whites know that they will be outnumbered in about 20, 21 years. Mm. They're going to be outnumbered. Hey, Tory, man. How are you doing, brother? I'm actually from India. We brown people can totally relate with you. And sometimes it's like, did that just happen to me? We have to not let the government mind us either. That cop ain't never been brought to the public because he he ain't normal, and he may not even exist no more. Say no more, release the video. You know, you keep on doing what you're doing, man. You're going to take over this talk radio, man. Just keep on focusing on what you're focusing on. I wish you a lot of love. God bless you, brother. Now, live from the American Family Insurance Studio in Milwaukee, here is Tori Lowe. Justice, Justice Wisconsin, Wisconsin. The, the most requested advocate in the state, 101.7 FM, the movement continues, and continues. yeah, 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 Milwaukee yeah. stand up, yeah. stand up, it's Tory Low, the truth, from one to four, we about that action, so tap in and let's go, let's uh, go. we want that justice, we want all the smoke, yeah. from Monday through Friday, trying to bring the city hope, yeah. Yeah. So we low from one to four, Monday through Friday, let's go. We bout that action from the block, and we ready, let's go. Tap in, and it ain't no holding back. We ready. We ready. 1017 The Truth. Tory Low. Tory Low Show live from American Family Insurance Studio at the Avenue. And I'm here for the action. And I'm but that action. And I want all. The smoke. Who wants the smoke today? Salute to my brothers and sisters on the front lines. The movement continues. The murder continues. How you doing, DJ Brother Z? It's Thursday. And how y'all doing out there in Radio Land Truth Nation? Hey, look, we got guests. We got a packed house today. We got guests in the building. And look, I'm going to tell you right now, we got Ben Jamin. In the building. It's amazing. 
<laughs> and we got Carrie Noni Juice. Juice World in the building. Yeah, yeah, I was keeping it juicy, y'all. And my co-host Elizabeth Brown always holding me down. Hey, yo. Hey. Salute. What's happening hey. in? Look, Benjamin, who do we have in the studio with us today? So, Milwaukee. All right. I know what y'all just heard on the last hour. All right. <laughs> Nothing but the truth. We talked about chicken for a whole hour. Mm -hmm. All right. We talked about how chicken is so good, how crispy it can be. We even talked about people in the city named chicken. All right. And with that being said, none other. I'm here. Chicken it's bee. One. Yeah, yeah. We chicken bee. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. In the building. <laughs> in the his. In mm -hmm. the flesh. Hey, okay. look, Show. look. All right, I got a question, Chicken P. I'm going to just say this. What's going on? You've been grinding for a long time. For do, sure. Do you feel famous at this point? Like, like I know I'm famous, but I don't be one yeah. to like, feel famous. You get what I'm but saying? But you know like, what I'm so. saying? Like, because I know you're grinding. Yeah. You was grinding for a long time. No, for sure. You was sure. in the trenches for a minute. <laughs> no, for sure, for sure, Yeah. I it be I be feeling good like I just be trying to stay humble about it you know mm -hmm. no but that work I'm just saying you put in the work you was grinding now when when you get that national level what's the difference what are you seeing that you know like okay this didn't happen for me it, the reaction everybody like man it's that it's people we was listening to. They bumping us now. They playing it. They sharing it. They tapping in. It's just like yeah. They, they saying your us. name. Then more than saying my name, they they, they playing the yeah, music. Man, it's it's like that right now. I'm getting I, invited to parties and all type of. Crazy. I seen sexy red bumping something. Hey. Man, yeah. Sexy. What's happening? That's my dog. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> how does that make you feel though, Chicken? Yeah. Like, the, like this, this everything that's been happening for you in your career. How does that make you feel? Blessed, blessed, man. It's a journey mm -hmm. getting here, and this a journey ahead still. It ain't it just started? But that make me feel like, like everything I went through was worth it, though. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, for the people who don't know everything that you have been through, Chicken, what describe your upbringing? A whole lot, a whole, whole lot, but everything I've been through brought me here. I don't really want to, you know, Facts. get into all that. Well, look, look, I'm going to tell you right yeah. now, I personally, your mom had to call me a couple times. You was, y'all yeah. don't know where you was at. You were probably calling on the phone from somewhere, but I'm going to tell you, I, look, I saw the grind, and, and to me, at this point, it's like Milwaukee rap, Milwaukee music. It's taking over right now. Yeah. Explain what's going on. What you seeing out here? Man, like our sound, like that. Yeah. Our energy. It ain't even really our sound. It's mm -hmm. our energy. Right. Like they they would sleep on us for a long time, but now they finally tapping in. Like, man, they turned down there. Like, mm -hmm. you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, they really got it going on. It's fun. Woo -dee -woo -dee -woo. So like before they thought we was just country. Like I tell people right. I was from Milwaukee or They'd be like, oh, it's, it's farms and cows and woo -tee -woo -tee -woo. <laughs> And I'm like, Bunch of you, cheese. Will, you will die in Milwaukee, bro. You're <laughs> right. talking about farming and cow and, and all that. No, that it's ain't what's going on. real here. Yeah, but now they they finally seeing it. Mm -hmm. So it's real now. And they like, oh, yeah, they really turned. Then there's people who hear they be, It's talent here. So Plenty they, talent. So they seeing it now, like, oh, they got the energy in. They got, it's talent. Like, oh, let's mm -hmm. tap into the market. So that's just good. That's a good feeling. That's what's up. Is there anybody that you want to do a collab with at this point that mm -hmm. you may be able to do it with since you got you talking about on like, a certain level, like on the national scale, who you want to do a, a song with? I want to work with whoever want to work. Right. Bro. I don't care. Like, everybody can get yeah. it. Yeah. I don't care if Miley Cyrus wants to do it. <laughs> I know, that's right. Okay, you got you had a song called Fast Cash Baby. Yeah. And, and, and rest in peace to G. Rest in peace to bro. Okay. Hello. But that song came out a while ago, and it was like, it put you in a certain space. Like, that song went so viral. Yeah. And it was a different style of music. It wasn't sounding like nobody else. That's, and I was playing in there when, when we were right. like, when How I did you come up with that? I was just in there playing, ha. I'm like, mm -hmm. playing, but then, 
Beep, see Katie, the uh, engineer, he like, bro, that sound good, bro. You should, like, put some words to it. So I'm like, all right, bet, come on. And then we just did it. And it's just weird. I did that before I had to go to jail in 2018. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I was getting a project ready before I went in. And I did the song. But when I did it, it was just me on there. Mm -hmm. And then I called home, Jig, like, oh, bro, listen to this. You know what I'm saying? And he played the song. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's fire for sure, for sure. And then they end up putting it out. Mm -hmm. When we put it out, it's just. It you know, just went. Would you say that was a moment that you felt like was going to get you to this point to be known like this? No, I could, like, like I've been felt like that. Like, when I first started rapping, the whole city, the mm -hmm. whole city gravitated to it. They're like, mm -hmm. oh, who's chicken? Who's chicken? Who do you do? Because I was going by another name, you know? Mm -hmm. And then when I went to rapping, I switched my name. So then nobody know, like, oh, who, who is he? You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then, but I think. Me and Chop had did the song, and I'm like, it had got like 10,000 views on YouTube. You know, back then, that was a lot. That was a lot. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm finna drop. You drop a lot of videos. Yeah, more now. Yeah, you drop a lot of videos. How how do you come up with the idea? Do you say, okay, we just gonna keep this street? Because a lot of your videos just be yeah. out, out with I'm the peeps. I'm running gun. Yeah, right. like, sometimes they get on they, man, you gotta do your... We got to get, you know, so I try to get cinematic a little bit with it, but I be running the gun in. Right. I don't care. Like, long as it's turned this energy, I'll shoot it. Who, who shoot most of your fine. videos? Uh, I no, know it's a little it's, video it's, crew. You 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 got, no. you got work with different people. Yeah, like Glaze, like DH, Ray, uh, Philly, uh, 2M Digital. I've been shooting with all right. type of but, you know, everybody. You got a large catalog when it comes to music. Is are you seeing any of the residuals? You know, when you go viral, when you when you you have a lot of music out here. Yeah, yeah. You've been putting out music for a long time. Is that independent? Are you signed? Yeah, no. How's that I going? Got, okay, see. All right, this I'm gonna just bust it down real right. fast. I got distribution. Do 10k okay. projects, you know, but I'm still independent. Like, Fact. like if Def Jam or they wanted to come with whatever they want to come with, I could do whatever I wanted to do. Still, you get what I'm saying? So you got the distribution deal where they just put it out and you make your own music. You yeah. do. You got your yeah. own studio. Yeah, like, okay. but like it's a, we we part. I'm partnered with them. Okay, so it's like it's they. If I need the assistance, they gonna come right in. Okay, it, it'd be you know like, how, but how, I'd rather it's just. I don't know, I like getting busy by myself, bro. Because then I show a different type of, like, I don't really. You get to keep your creative your, freedom. I could do what I, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah I ain't, mm -hmm. yeah. Nah, creative, creative control is important. But uh, real quick, how did you even get uh, in contact with 10K to set up bro, the distribution? when I came home, like, I had, bro, it was all type of labels. Mm -hmm. um, because when I had, I dropped while I was in jail and, uh, I dropped when I was in jail, and then my my streams went up. Yeah, yeah. that's how I got out. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's wild. From the money and yeah, yeah. So I'm like, the, it got the building up. Uh huh. And I'm like, all right, boom. I got bigger than ever while I was in there. I'm like, bet I came home, and the last time I came home, I ain't really, I couldn't really get my groove right back, bro. Like I was move broke. I, I couldn't do yeah, bro. So I'm like, man, bro. But this time I came home, I was, I had two thousand dollars. To yeah. my name, you know, I'm like, all right, I know what I'm finna do. I went right to the studio. I ain't made a good investment. Yeah, as soon as I came home, I ain't even go home. I went to the studio. I went like to the block real fast, chop it up with bro and them. And we mm -hmm. all went to the studio. Now, you, and I was just in there working, bro. And then once that, like, it took off. I'm like, boom. Once I got to drop it. and the labels got to seeing like, oh, he done, he done in the streets. He for real. Like he on it. They got to hit me, bro. Like, I had, like, four labels hit me at one time, and then I flew out to talk to one of them, and then 10K came, and they like, man, listen, this is what we going to do. And I'm like, it was a better setup. Do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm like, that's that that makes sense. Yeah, All right. Like, yeah, but see, no, they been around, though. Like, they just, you know, like, they, they now they, they grouped up with Warner Bros. Like, it been, it's just, they, they like, they been around. 
Trippy Red. And it's plenty. Of okay. Yeah. Ice Spice. Yeah. Sexy Red. Yeah. That's what's up. Six Nine. Like mm. a lot of. That's what people don't be knowing. Like yeah, they're a good label for sure. Hey. Connected to Lucian and Grains. Hey, look. When we come back, we got Chicken P in the building. Milwaukee's rising star, powerful. Show. And we got Ben Jamming in the building. It's amazing. Cherry Noni Juice, Juice World. Yeah, yeah, I was giving it juicy, y'all. And Elizabeth Brown in the studio today. Look, when we come back, we'll have more conversation, Truth Nation. Stay locked in right here on Tory Lowe. Don't touch that dial. The Tory Low Show will be right back on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. Truth Nation, join the Truth Team on Saturday, April 13th for our third annual Tory Low Community Cleanup. We want you to go to truthcommunitycleanup.com to sign up and be a volunteer to help keep Milwaukee clean. Everyone who joins will get a free lunch provided by Cousin Subs. Register today at truthcommunitycleanup.com. That is truthcommunitycleanup.com to clean and beautify our city together. The Truth Community Cleanup is sponsored by Cousin Subs and Safe and Sound. Beautify your entertainment space with Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin. Hi, this is Gina Della from Pella. Turn your ordinary space into something extraordinary with brand new Pella Windows. The luxurious look, sleek design, and custom colors available is guaranteed to give your home the extra pop to entertain and keep you comfortable. At Pella, we see windows differently. We have the highest rated energy efficient products and a complete range of durable, functional, and high quality products that bring out the best of your home. Plus, getting the perfect windows and doors for your home has never been easier. Right now, get 0% interest for up to 36 months or no down payment, no interest, and no payments for up to 18 months if you book before April 30th. That's right, get 0% interest for up to 36 months or no down payment, no interest, and no payments for up to 18 months. If you book before April 30th, take ownership of your living space and make it a place worth living with Powell Windows and Doors of Wisconsin. Associated Bank knows your small business isn't just a venture. It's your dream and a vital part of the community. And we're not just a bank. We're your neighbors. We're looking out for you. That's why Associated Bank offers quick online applications and approvals with funding in as fast as one business day, checking with no minimum balances or maintenance fees, and prompt customer service. Explore our products at associatedbank.com slash business or visit a branch for more details. Subject to credit approval. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. When it comes to getting the smile of your dreams, you can't just trust anyone. So look no further than Bubon Orthodontics. Bubon Orthodontics is Wisconsin's number one Invisalign provider and has been providing the best value for braces and Invisalign since 1993. With 15 convenient locations, you're sure to find one in your area. Schedule your free consultation today. Call or text 262-522-7447 or visit bubonortho.com. Bubon Orthodontics, a family treating families. All you have is one. One chance after an accident. One decision on who to call. One shot to get the help you need. Don't waste it on the one offer you get from your insurance company. Make the one call to Gruber Law Offices. It's the only one you'll need to make. Call us today. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. This is the Tory Low Show on 1017 The Truth, the Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. Fire bitty to the flow right now. Right now. Eat a rub, show her how you get down. Off the drink, yeah, she finna go round. Go round. Get up, get up, hit the ground. Hit the ground. Eat her up, eat her up, eat her up. Eat her up, eat her up, eat her up. Eat her up, eat her up, eat her up. Eat her up, eat her up, eat her up. Oh, throwing plenty hunters in the club. One on one, seven the truth, Tory Low, Tory Low Show. DJ Brothers on the ones and twos. We got guests in the building. We got a full house. We got Chicken P in the building. We got Ben Jamming. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Carrie Noni <laughs> Juice and Elizabeth Brown in the building. Hey, yo. hey if y'all want to join us as we broadcast live on 1017 the truth on YouTube, tap in. Hey. 
All right, I got a question for you because I've been wanting to ask you this since I saw a couple of your other interviews and even what you just said just now, as far as as soon as you got out of jail, you went straight to the studio, you know, because you were going to take it serious. And you talk a lot about sacrifice. But coming from where we're from, it can be very hard to change your mindset into knowing that in order to get to where you want to go, you have to sacrifice, you have to change and not just be a part of what your environment is. So how were you able to make that mental I had to shift sit in jail for a year and then spend 75,000 hard earned dollars to get home, bro? Like, mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It wasn't hard to, to make the decision after that. <laughs> I'm like, I'm cool. Then it's like, you got to think, bro. Everybody, man, they telling and, Killing each other ain't no right. honor in the streets, man. Ain't no what I'm gonna get out to prove. So, well, I ain't got nothing to prove to y'all. Yeah, I'll that's fight. my whole thing. Like I ain't got nothing, to, nothing to prove, not zero to prove to y'all. Like as long as my baby's good, my mama and my sisters, my baby mama's good. I ain't, I'm cool. Like mm-hmm. you know, I could sacrifice to make sure I'm out with them and get this money and make sure we are eating good. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. So that's that's what I did. Like I ain't. That's what's important, bro. You no. Know? How far you wanna take this? As far as it's gonna take me. Galaxy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> no bull. Like for real, I'm going far. They wanna call me to get in the movie. Yeah. They wanna call me to do whatever. I'm doing it. You know what I'm saying? As long as I ain't going against my morals right. and no weird, Come on. nothing like that. Mm-hmm. We gone. I sure. really see you being the one to. Because we already got the door open. We all know that, right? Like, the door's cracked. We breaking it down. You know, Lakia was one of the ones who kind of helped us out when she was with QC and things like that. But with you, I see it a little bit different, you know, because you really have that, like you said, that sound, that energy of what Milwaukee represents. Do you feel like you're going to be the one to really bust that thing wide open to the point where we going to keep the momentum? I mean, you know? I mean, I wouldn't even say, like, I... Like, everybody know this. I humbly saying it, though. Like, I got, like, the other artists here tell me. Like, so it'll be like, yeah, like, I know for sure. I'm doing it right now. Mm-hmm. That's right. what we're doing. So it's like, yeah, but not by myself. You get what I'm saying? All like, facts. With help, for yeah. sure. Mm-hmm. Like, with, it's other artists here that's big, too. Like, yeah. Like, JP and Frank, them, they... They big right now. Like, mm-hmm. it's Marmar, like... They on the billboard. certified. Like, yep. you know, like, it's artists here that's big right now, so... Yeah. I, yeah, I, I, really, want, I really want us to be able to capitalize off of it long term, you know? Because I feel like we've had it in spurts before, we but have. I don't want it to be a spurt, you right. know? Like, I want this no, to actually... No, I'm going to make sure... Yeah. Ain't no be no spurts or nothing. I'm yeah. I'm I'm what well, I'm going. I, what I'm seeing right now is a whole culture though. I see yeah, it. it is. Hold TikTok. On. I saw break dancing. Like I see like Big Frank with two dancers. Yeah. Like like the yeah. old school break dancer. I was like, oh, we got it. You know what I'm Because once people start doing your moves and, and taking your language mm-hmm. and using your dance steps, oh, that's Global. the culture right yeah. there. Yeah, that's um, bad bitties. Yeah, and I right. want them to know it's from us, you know, because sometimes whenever we do go viral and things like that, they don't it know where lost. it's from. It does, yeah. it gets lost. So I want, you know, with you and I know with JP and Big Frank, they are putting on and letting people know, like, no, this is where it's coming from. And that's yeah. really right. what it's going to take. Like, don't just get there and... Not let get them comfortable know, you know and then you know allow them to flip it but yeah. in reality i just know for a fact you know uh you standing on shoulders of giants again we got cuckoo you know baby drew you know like again people already knew milwaukee was a threat exactly. you understand what i'm saying it's just, just i think it's our time up. it's just our time and as long as we utilize the time we have because even when we talk about politics and everything else the main thing they say is everybody come to milwaukee you understand what i'm saying yeah the population of, of just black folks, we're the best of the worst place to be black. Right. And we make it look good. You understand what I'm saying? For sure. So when you understand that the energy that we where we came from, you can go anywhere <laughs> and do anything. Be, when you right, conquer for real. this, for real, man, for real. you're unstoppable. And that's what I be telling people when they be asking, like, I be like, bro, if you know where I'm from, that for real, part. like, <laughs> You right. wouldn't even ask me nothing that like part. that, but like, you know. <laughs> yeah. Do you think that the people outside of the city are finally understanding that we're not just cows yeah. and farms and things like that? Coming. Are they getting like, it? They tapping in and they, they trying coming. to check it out. They coming down. Hey, like, look, they, Gucci yeah. man had front row seats at the Bucks game. Like they That's looking. Real. 
they coming down and they, they seeing themselves like, oh yeah, no right. Then you got to think. Well, we bring a lot of artists here, right. So when they come here and they see the energy in the clubs Facts. and they're like, oh yeah, this this ain't nothing like I thought it was. They, and they we see. rock with people hard. I'm talking about people who've been out the game for 20 years. If they Facts. come to Milwaukee, they're going to feel like they just dropped. Because you know we saying? go we hard. Gave them, we like, gave Boosie the key to the city. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, we gave T Pain some too. Just from saying yeah. West Kansan. And it wasn't even West <laughs> it was just, uh, Yeah, that's what I said. And that's we go what, hard. That's, I ain't going to lie. Look, I'm telling you, like, when we people. We just got to put that energy back into our own. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? The energy that and we give people And that's why I be outside. appreciating it now. Because it's like, now it'd be like way more love than hate here mm -hmm. at home. It'd be like, cool. I be feeling cool. It'd be some places where I go, I don't got to pay. Right. It'd be, you know what I'm saying? It'd just be it's love. Better. Like, yeah. it'd be straight. And I'd be like, all right, bet. It make you, you want to do Put more. On for yeah, your yeah. For sure. Powerful. Well, how you feel about being on the One World Music Festival? Good. The last time, listen, and no, like, it's crazy. The last time I was supposed to perform at the uh, Riverside was in 2018 before I went to jail. The mm -hmm. show, at, like, it was like November 11th or something, or November 8th. I, f I forgot, November 11th, because I had to turn myself in November 8th. And I I couldn't go. I couldn't perform or whatever. They was bringing Young Boy, and I was supposed to open up for him. Mm. But I couldn't go because I had to turn myself in. Mm. So now it's like, I like doing like theaters and arena, like arenas. And if I could get right. on a big stage, it'd be a privilege to me. I don't be matter how big I get, I still be excited to do it. How, how would you explain your your style? Oh, I love her. I don't know. <laughs> I, I just I just be coming how I feel, bro. However I'm feeling. I don't know. What what matters most to you when uh, making a record? The the lyrics, the beat, the melody. The vibe. Mm. You don't even got to be because you, like, you going to get your lyrics and everything about of how you vibing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So, no. like, the actual just feeling. Be the vibe, yeah. Now, I, I got a question for you, P, man. Because, uh, so I, I tapped into your video, Shark. All right. You got, <laughs> you got a record called Shark. Yeah. All right. And I, these lyrics stood out to me. All right. Which ones? All right. These, these <laughs> ones right here. These joints right here, bro. So you go on to say in your record, you like you got a line where you say, "I'm a real educator. I ain't baking that at Chase." You you really don't bake at Chase? No. <laughs> oh, okay. So uh -uh. so do you bake? You bake with educators? Yeah. I, see, I knew I understood the he line. Educated. I, yeah, yeah. He, he That's a bar. People, That's definitely a bar. But I also wanted to ask you, with that being said, you banking at educators? How is educators, or you know, bank with who you bank with? You got to get the whole, huh? Help, help your business. Oh no, you know they the credit, you know they a credit union. Credit you know union. how yeah, yeah, you know how talk to me, talk on, to me. Man. These people out here <laughs> listening to you. you they know, know you know what's going on. I ain't finna put them in my business, <laughs> but they know, yeah. you know. Becky with credit unions is the way to go. It Got is. you. Yeah, for sure. Got a lot of credit unions. Oh, okay. I love credit unions too. Shoot. Salute the educators. I got to start using my account more over there. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that's just, hey. Because like, that's, that's just one thing that people don't talk about when it comes down to like setting up the actual business. Yeah. I know you have to have like, you know, your touring LLC together. You also got to have like the copyrights and stuff together. Like, well, like how did you even learn that kind of stuff? The infrastructure. Man, yeah, getting the infrastructure. played. Mm. Trial and error. Yeah. You got to get played. Well, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Some <laughs> see now y'all listening, y'all know not to get played oh, first. Wow. You when y'all going in had this type of stuff taken care of. Come but on. like when I first got the drop and I was just making the songs. Right. I wasn't even getting them mixed, bro. Yeah. I get the song, get it sound good enough to me, I put it up. And my engineer would be like, bro, you got I'm I'm gonna start recording you, bro, if you keep doing that, bro. Cause you you making it sound like it could sound a thousand times better and wooty wooty woo. And then once I got the drop in the music, it wasn't like I was getting paid for features and shows, but I wasn't getting paid off my streaming or nothing like that for my yeah. publishing or nothing. There was somebody else playing me. Like, got played. I got played. When I start seeing it, I'm like, oh, no, that's how we got to go about everything. And that's just how I learned. Mm. You got to put a game. Ha has any OG showed you the business or was it the mistakes that showed you the business? Mistakes. Mm -hmm. OGs be weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like. The older people, bro, they be. I like was saying older, that. I've been, been saying that for a long time. They gatekeep game, bro. Yeah. Like, they gatekeep game. They wasn't game, trying to give you the game. Yeah, so they was trying to like push, pull you in. And try to they use was trying you. to use you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They'll try to use you. So it'd be like. But that ain't bro, no long money, because. 
Right. That's that's short term. That's a little bit. Like, why don't we go for the like the industry type idea, the economy idea? But cats was going for whatever they could get. Exactly, bro. Like, I don't. I be. Um, I'm smarter. Mm -hmm. now, so I don't yeah. even. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nah, I just be like. I don't take it no type of way, but I don't. I never like that's why I give all the game I could give, bro. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I be knowing like it be. Because you wish somebody had gave you, you the game, game bro. You got yeah, a Voltron, especially coming out of yeah. Milwaukee, like we mm -hmm. were saying before. You know when we was off air, like the foundation. No you have cool. to learn how to Voltron. But the question that I got for you, Chicken P, like, because you were saying that you'd have been to jail. You know, uh, you'd have learned the hard ways of the street. We understand that the. Uh, where we live got a lot to do with how we groove, how we move. And I just really feel like, especially as a people, uh, we've been trained to believe that we have no value. So we get caught up in things that make us feel value, you know, and that yeah. usually leads to the penitentiary. What would you tell, you know, young black individuals that's whether they want to rap or not, like the, the prison industry, because yeah. they're making so much money. What would you tell them, you know, to, to help them not, Move be yourself, bro. Just be yourself, bro. Like, mm -hmm. don't let others influence you the wrong way. Like, cause that's really all it be, bro. You will see, all right, it'll be a young, young dude, and it'll be a dope dealer. You know what I'm saying? Like, and little bro want everything he got, but he right. letting this right. influence him. You can't let that influence you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even if he want it, it's a way to get it, bro. Like. And you just go away, go about things legit, bro. Like mm -hmm. it'll work out for you when you really stay down and and just really struggle through the struggle God put you through. Come on, you gon you gon get your blessing in the end, bro. So just Salute be yourself, like stay away from anything negative, bro. Like drugs, everything that seems like it's the way to go. It ain't. Like you just gotta be you. Mm -hmm. Pray to God. <laughs> And believe in God. Yeah. Because hey. there's so much more to life than just what you're seeing, you yeah. know, outside your doors. And it's always, like, smokes and mirrors. Like, yeah. you, mm -hmm. you you see something, but it ain't really everything. What you think what it, it is. is right. Every time, bro. Yeah. Like, Smoke and mirrors. Might, it's yeah. a curtain. It's just like you might see a burger. It might look good. Like, And it's all. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you might bite into it, and right. it might be pink and. Got Not the food you know poisoning. Right. Like, you feel me? It's uh, hella marketing. Right. You know, they make it look good, and right. then you find out that the burger mm -hmm. you was slobbing over was clay. Don't fall <laughs> for it. Mm. You got to just work. Hey, even the Lunchables got lead in them. That part. Right. For you real. Ben had sent me that, 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 <laughs> that article. No, we wanted those when we was kids. Man. That's all I was back down the rabbit hole. But then, like, it don't even be worth it. Like, when you really, like, when you go to jail... You would go in, like, you would be in there, bro. It'd be so many people in there, bro. Talented, like, Come bro, on. Like, bro, making, bro, uh, make you some, bro, they could make whatever in jail, bro. Mm. For real. I swear mm. to God, Talent. bro, like, they, bro, they be in there finding out how to do all type of stuff, bro. Like, lighting cigarettes with no lighter. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. You know make what it, make up. Like, wow. <laughs> for real. Like, they for be real, cooking. bro, like, you cooking, find a way. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> making pieces. I see, no I see they like making, making pieces, cakes bro. and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, bro, like, and you would be surprised, bro, like, Facts. like even never, club, bro. like if you, you use lines. your mind like that on the street. Facts. You could be a billionaire. You would have been a billionaire, bro. For this real? is a wow. billion dollar idea, bro. But we mm -hmm. just in jail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, that's deep, and that's how I be, bro. Like, so you don't want to have to go there and then figure out you can sing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like, right. bro, don't Dang. go to don't go to prison, bro, to or or even to the county jail, jail bro, yeah. to have to figure out that, bro, like that you got talent, yeah. right, bro. Dig deeper to yourself, mm. bro. Why you got the freedom to do it, bro, and be free, <laughs> right? Oh, boy, bro. Like, hey, look, mm. when we come back, we'll have more conversation. We got Chicken P in the building, Ben Jamming. It's amazing. Kerry Noni Juice. And Elizabeth Brown hanging hey, out with me in the studio today as usual. When we come back, we'll have more conversation, Truth Nation. Stay locked in right here on Tory Low. The Tory Low Show returns after this on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. The biggest names in the basketball world. Dame Dollar. 
Lillard. Having fun and honest conversations. He puts it in the shoe, right? And sets the tone for brothers and sisters and family. Every week, Thanasis Adetokounmpo sits down with special guests on The Analysis Show. Presented by Potawatomi Casino Hotel. And Curbless Ready to Drink Cocktails. Thanasis. Find The Analysis Show on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you get your podcasts. And on YouTube by searching The Analysis Show. Protect your dream home with American Family Insurance. And you can weather any storm. You'll also save up to 25% by bundling home, auto, and life. American Family Insurance. Get a quote. Find an agent at AmFam.com. Products not available in every state. Discounts may not apply to all coverages on an auto or home policy. Discounts do not apply to life insurance policies. Visit AmFam.com to learn how discounts may apply to you. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, S.I. and its operating companies, American Family Life Insurance Company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. It's time for Truth Takes, a thought-provoking commentary on the new 1017 The Truth. Here is Dr. Ken Harris with his truth. We're at a turning point in Milwaukee's political history as we go towards the end of this year and into 2025. The choices we make now will have a lasting impact on our city in the future. The impending financial difficulties necessitate a cooperative strategy that unites every aspect of our society to create long-term fixes. There has never been any question about the tenacity and the spirit of Milwaukeeans, and it is this strength that we need to utilize more than ever. Our future depends on creative problem solving, utilizing cross-border alliances, and being dedicated to making sure that all Milwaukeeans' voices, especially those of the historically marginalized, are acknowledged and heard during the policymaking process. Prioritizing equitable development will ensure that longstanding imbalances are addressed and economic growth will benefit all Milwaukee citizens. You know, it's essential to make investments in Milwaukee's public services, infrastructure, educational systems, in order to both prevent the budget crisis and create a more robust and energetic city. Now, as we traverse these obstacles, let us never forget that our community is our most valuable resource. And by working together, we can overcome any challenge and create a future that embodies Milwaukee's greatest qualities, which are resilience, being inclusive, and being a successful city. This has been Truth Takes on the new 1017 The Truth. Listen to The Truth in the Afternoon with Dr. Ken Harris, weekdays from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. This Associated Bank Sports Update on the award-winning 1017 The Truth is powered by ESPN Milwaukee. I'm Kyle Wallace. The Milwaukee Bucks make it two in a row as they defeated the Orlando Magic 117 to 99. With this victory, the Bucks clinched no lower than a four seed in the Eastern Conference. They hit the hardwood again Friday night in Oklahoma as they take on the Thunder. And that can be heard on our sister station, 94.5 ESPN Milwaukee. The Brew Crew improved to 8-3 on the season as they defeated the Cincinnati Reds 7-2 last night. Brewers star Christian Yelich went yard again for his fifth home run on the season. The Brewers look to win the series today as they take on the Reds at 12:10 on our sister station 620 WTMJ. This sports update is presented by Associated Bank, proudly supporting your hometown teams, member FDIC. You are listening to the Tory Low Show on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app and 1017thetruth.com. And now I'm here, and you're sitting there cold stairs, wishing was here, when back then I'll be right there, but I had a little too much self fair cause you never could've. And ever since, I chose to stay true, say motherfucker me, no motherfucker you, you couldn't trust me, I couldn't trust you, but you never should've. And now I'm here, and you're sitting there cold stairs, wishing was here, when back then I'll be right there, but I had a little too much self fair cause you never could've. And you never would've, cause I have to take shots if you ever could've. Truth Nation. The One World Music Festival is coming to Riverside Theater on Friday, April 26th. This music festival will feature some of the hottest local artists that you will love. Chicken P, 414 Big Frank, JP, Joe Polo, and many more. One of the world's 
one of the biggest music festivals that that's going to hit the city will honor milwaukee's legendary rap artists like cuckoo cow baby drew ray nitty homo blow what joe pablo oh, okay joe pablo okay make sure you get your tickets today and attend the world music festival the one world music festival on friday april 26 at the riverside theater downtown milwaukee doors open at 6 p.m to get your tickets visit paps theater group.com and search one world music festival that's paps theater group.com and search one world music festival jp jp instead of uh joe pablo okay shout out jp got, and shout out joe pablo too okay yeah. they got two of them on there it's, it's clear it's a packed uh list <laughs> yeah <laughs> no he was supposed to he was supposed to no, joe was supposed to do it but okay he had some stuff come up so okay he had to miss it yeah. Well, I want to know how you like traveling and getting out of the city. You know, yeah. how do you feel outside I, of I, where you are from? No, I like it, but it get tiring sometimes. Cause like, man, I be having, like, I have a show in Pennsylvania one day, and then what? South Carolina the next day. Hey. Bro, and so I you just having, all run, you just yeah, run. Yeah, and it be like, I gotta do this, gotta do that. Like this your I dream home, though. Yeah, that's why I don't be I don't complain about it. I just take mm. it how I come, you know? Mm. But I uh like I only I'll be here. I'll be here like two, three days out the week. Three, yeah. four. Like four maybe if it's a if I ain't got nothing going. But mm -hmm. every weekend I'll be gone. And then some days like some days they be back to back to back. I'll be like, man. Do you do but, you walk around do you still walk around the block like how no. you usually do? Um, like what you mean? You know, just when you want to run to the store, or when you want to go to to you know Walmart, oh, yeah. do you go by yourself <laughs> or do you do you yeah, bring? Like, do you bro. have to be around people now? No, like they be my they get mad at me. Mm. <laughs> like they be mad. Like my brother and them and like they be mad. Like bro, you where's you at, bro? Bro, we finna pull up. You know what I'm saying? And they be like, don't I, go by yourself. Yeah, like mm. I'll be in eighteen hundred. I mean seventeen hundred eating. I be at Walmart. I be I be everywhere, bro. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah, when you man, come from the block, you don't. Yeah, I don't be. You gonna walk around by yourself? Lie. I ain't gonna lie though. Like, you do gotta move a certain way. Oh, I agree. Because yeah, ain't no you. It not happen to anybody. Facts. So you gotta you gotta know how to move for sure. But like, yeah, I be tenant, and but I be. I get out of my car, going to I like you know how I, I don't pull up to the store and send somebody in, bro. Mm -hmm. I pull up and get out and go in and select which chips I want to eat myself, right. and I don't be yeah, bro. I don't do that. What's been your favorite city to uh, to perform in? Ohio or uh, the city? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, besides Milwaukee, yeah, you know. <laughs> I love performing in Ohio, but like. This, uh, it's hard choosing the city. Mm. I ain't gonna lie. What? What? Flint too. Yeah. Mm. Cause Flint, they be, they be live. Cleveland, uh, Cincinnati. You really be in the Midwest? I was about to say. Yeah. St. Louis be turned too. Yeah. St. Louis be turned too. Adam Twenty Two mentioned your name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How did that but, make you feel? Do you know him? No. See, it was cause a little dude, uh, little bro, Fifty. He locked up right now, but he from Cleveland. You know, he rap, and he asked him who was his favorite rapper, and he was like, Chicken P. Yeah. You know mm. what I'm saying? And that's how he got hit. So I tapped in with Lil Bro, and we got to chopping it up. We were supposed to do something. But he in jail right now. That's what's up. When it yeah. comes to the Midwest, how what would you say is so unique about us that makes us stand out versus, you know, the West Coast, the South, South, the East? What is it about the Midwest? I don't know. Like we got a certain like ratchetness to us. <laughs> I feel like it's different. Yeah, it's like grit. <laughs> yeah, it's like a different ratchetness that and they like. Oh, what? And like I told y'all, they don't expect it coming from Milwaukee. Milwaukee you get what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So when they see it, they be like, oh, "Okay," or Milwaukee, Ohio. Like we all doing the same things. Mm. When you go, when you leave here and go there, they they doing the same thing. It's the same stuff going right. on there here. I, th I think we have a lot of fun. I think the what we're seeing artists right now is like bringing back that 
that that essence of hip hop that that yeah. was fun. Yeah. Because everybody got serious all of a sudden. Yeah. Now here we come. We dancing. We, all that shoot them up. Yeah. Bang, bang. <laughs> we having fun. We we, we, ain't on that. we we just we just enjoying it's the time. It's carefree. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's definitely even the carefree. dances we have. We be mm -hmm. running all over the place. Everybody be you know high fiving and so to me i feel like we bringing like that fun back to the game yeah. where mm -hmm. the game just got everybody wanted the beef yeah. everybody was in drama i think we just partying right now I yeah mean, a lot of the music that we i'm hearing bar, right it, like, when you go out of town like they love us like because we bringing time. the fun yeah I mean, they be honest bro. right what's been your favorite most favorite experience while uh i mean coming up in your career I don't know. Mm. It'd be hard. It'd be so much going on. Yeah. I'd just be taking it all in. Bro. But, like. Anybody reach out to you just unexpectedly that you never thought of? Like, you know, again, maybe like a, a Jay-Z touching down and be like, hey, I, I see you, you know? I wouldn't say no. A bird man reaching out to you. I wouldn't say a Jay-Z or a bird man, but it'd be some big artists for sure. Yeah. For sure, for sure. How does that make you know? feel that they recognize you? Good. Cause I've been recognizing them, That's so it'd be like, yeah. like I right, bet you know who I am, just like I know who you is. But you make the, me the, feel good. I, I like, think the new artists too, uh, or that's been in the game a long time. Y'all need to understand like the value. It's one thing. I don't think you should be humble. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To be humble is, is, is then, to like, like bow down or something. No, uh, no. Nah. See, that's that's people be having pride issues. That right, real talk. Be, you know what I'm saying? But, real talk. You just know to be humble when you've been through stuff. Right, right. You know? But what I'm saying is these artists like the Jay-Z's and the, you know, for them to stay alive, they need y'all. You understand what I'm saying? For like, sure. Just like y'all made them, we made them, you know, because, again, they, they, there right. is no Jay-Z if we don't buy it. Right. You know? And there is no Jay-Z if he can't keep finding artists right. that's going to keep him Facts. relevant. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Mm -hmm. But, like, I don't know. I just don't. They be. I feel like they know who we are too. Right. Yeah, they, they do. They just feel. They wait till we get to a certain, certain stature. Yeah. To to let y'all in. Give us ball. recognition. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Invite you to the brunch. Yeah. Like like I said it. Like you think, bro. Sexy be with Drake all the time. Mm -hmm. You think she not playing chicken when she dance? You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, Facts. You think she he not like, oh, who is who is uh buddy? You be tagging and what you on your page and you think you know what I'm saying? My right. name ain't came up. Right. It's my name for sure coming up. Mm -hmm. I'll just be chilling though. Hey, look, I'm gonna tell you this. The influence that we have out here is amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm loving it. Me too. And every time I hear a Milwaukee artist, they having fun. They is. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, they it's, not it's, trying to like, you know, I'm the toughest guy on the block. But none of that. But but you know how we get down for real. But yeah. it's like they just want to have. It's it it's like we not even. About, it's like yeah. we just trying to create a lot of creativity, a lot of like, talent. Well, only the wrong type of people are attracted to them type of people. Right. Like right. Negative dark people. Like don't nobody want no man, beat it with that. <laughs> man, that Especially when you think about yeah. where we coming from. If if they only knew like we in the worst place to be yeah. black. You know like, what I'm saying? On, like in those trying think, to yeah. ill vibe with you, Facts. bro. Beat it, bro. I'm not trying to ride around listening to no shoot 'em up. <laughs> beat it. Bang. Go bang. scram. Right. Like, yeah. Skedaddle. <laughs> For what? Real, bro, get out of here, bro. Uh, Thirty uh, three zero eight eight uh, wants to know. He on the talk to text lines. What's the most you ever made for a show? Mm. You can give us an estimate. Twelve five. Wow. Okay, that's dope. Twelve five. That's what's up. Hell yeah. All right. I mean, you good? No, you good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, look, when we come back, I don't, we gotta run. The, we gotta run the break. We gotta run the break. When we come back, we we'll have more conversation. Truth Nation. They liked it right here on Tory Low. More of the Tory Low Show is next on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. Milwaukee Black Talk. They think that black people don't wash their hands. So when they designed the automatic bathroom faucets and the automatic paper towel dispensers, they never thought to have that UV light be sensitive to or recognize black skin. They literally think, well, black people don't need paper towels. They don't wash their hands, so we don't need to have the sensors activate when a black person waves their hands. I'm not kidding you. 
Listen to The Truth with Sherwin Hughes weekdays from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. This is Community Heartbeat presented by Outreach Community Health Centers on 1017 The Truth. There are individuals in our community who certainly need health services, a variety of health services. What if they do not have health insurance? How can you serve that population? Our community health center allows patients to come to our clinic regardless of their ability to pay, and that's part of our federal funding. You can come to our clinic and be seen based on what we call a poverty level. So anyone 200% or below a poverty level can be seen in our clinic for anywhere from $20 to $40 for that visit. So in other words, if your visit is a $400 visit and you fall on our sliding scale where you pay $20 for your visit, you would not be responsible for the $400. You'd only be responsible for $20 for that visit. Also, our pharmacy prescriptions are very, very affordable as well. Where you would normally pay, let's say for an inhaler, $240 a month for an inhaler, at our facility that would cost you about 4 or $5. It's very good to know you guys have a sliding scale that makes it very, very affordable. Associated Bank knows your small business isn't just a venture. It's your dream and a vital part of the community. And we're not just a bank. We're your neighbors. We're looking out for you. That's why Associated Bank offers quick online applications and approvals with funding in as fast as one business day, checking with no minimum balances or maintenance fees, and prompt customer service. Explore our products at associatedbank.com business or visit a branch for more details. Subject to credit approval. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Hey Milwaukee, my name is Martina and I'm with the Independent Living Supports Pilot Program team. We help adults 55 plus and those 18 plus living with disabilities, providing up to $7,200 for home services, medical equipment, home modifications and more. There's less than 30 days left to sign up for this program. See if you qualify today. Call 414-289-6874. Again, that's 414-289-6874. This program is made possible by Milwaukee County and Wisconsin Department of Health and Human Services. Riverside Theater on April 26th will be the place to be. The One World Music Festival is coming to Milwaukee and it will feature great local artists that you don't want to miss. Performances by Chicken P. 414 Big Frank, and many more. There will also be special tributes to other artists of the past, like the great Cuckoo Cow, Baby Drew, and Ray Nitty. April 26th, get your tickets today by visiting pattheatergroup.com and search One World Music Festival. It's the Tory Lowe Show on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. I got rich with my brothers, I'm forever rockin' out, rollin', rockin', rollin', 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 rockin' out. Tell that lady keep the bins running when I'm hoppin' out. I'm chicken bag set. Oh, you don't wanna think Two Nation! Alright, the One World Music Festival is coming to Riverside Dead on Friday, April 26th! All right, the music festival will feature some of the hottest artists in town. Alright, we got Chicken P who is on one of the truth right now. We got 414 Big Frank and JP and so many more artists that will touch the stage, all right? But with that being said, the One World Music Festival will honor Milwaukee's legendary rap artists like the great Cuckoo Cow, Baby Drew, Ray Nitty, Homer Blow, and Minnie Mo. All right, for sure. Make sure you get your tickets today to attend the One World Music Festival on Friday, April 26th at the Riverside Theater in downtown Milwaukee. All right, doors open at 6 p.m. to get your tickets. Tickets. Visit PatsDeadGroup.com and search One World Music Festival. That is PatsDeadGroup.com. Search One World Music Festival. Hey. I be hey. playing Reloaded uh, in the gym, just so you know. Yeah. yeah. Hey. No, for real. No, for real. <laughs> Young hey. really do. Chicken P, how can, like how can everybody keep up with you? Uh, I'm on Instagram mm. under, well, they got me shot up, Ben, because I said mm. the B word too many times. <laughs> Damn. But, uh. It's chicken P underscore R E. And my page will pop up. It's another one that's gonna pop up, but y'all gonna know that that's the fake one for sure. Okay. Chicken P underscore R R E. Yeah. Got you. I'm following you right now. All right, bet. Hey, mm-hmm. look, give him a follow, back. give him some support. Mm-hmm. Milwaukee zone, chicken P in the building. Yeah. I'm gonna give you the last words. Oh no, 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 no. I was just finna tell them the, the event. It's our age. But if you under 18, make sure you bring you a parent or a guardian or somebody yeah. that could watch over you. And y'all need to get That's y'all true. tickets right now. They at the Riverside website. So do that right now. And your album. 
Oh, yeah, and I'm dropping <laughs> the day of the concert. Same so day. So y'all make sure y'all tune into that, too, man. It's going down in history. Bring you back. Talk about the album when it drops. For sure. Hey, look, I appreciate you for coming through, Chicken P. Anytime, Powerful, Powerful conversation. And that message to the youth, to everybody that's out there that's going that know, wrong path, sure. that's going the wrong way, that was powerful. All fast. It was for sure, for sure. A salute to all our brothers and sisters that's locked up. You know what I'm saying? We Every day we get a chance to get it right. So we work it. Okay, real quick. Yeah, I'm Here Ben Jeremy. I like to do, uh, do a little provocative uh, questions, right? Jesus. So real quick, we got one minute left. All right. Um, one of my favorite rappers of all time is Biggie Smalls. He had a record called uh, Dreams of Messing with an R&B Chick. All right. You, uh, you, 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 you got any dreams of messing with any of these celebrities? <laughs> and if so, who? Uh... No, no. It's all it's all good. You don't want to say no. it right now. Dude, you trying to get me in trouble? <laughs> These are his peers. Trouble. It's all good. Hey, yeah. Ben, tell us yours. Hey, you know what? Right. He gonna I, list them all. You know what? I get where I'm trying to be. Hey, look, your, your girl, sexy red. You know, I'm trying to see what uh what Buddy was talking about. Aiden uh, Aiden Ross was talking about. What do you say? Oh, uh, hey, he was he he said he was in that pie. You feel me? <laughs> Hey, yeah. that's what he said. He said he was in that. He, she said, she said that, that she, he was trolling. That was a troll. Come yeah. on now. Come on. Look. You can't believe the internet, man. Hey, that hey. was a promotion for a new song. <laughs> All I'm saying is, uh, uh, you want to see what that? You want to see what I'm it's like? To see what the poem poem's hey. about. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus. Shout out, sexy. Hey. <laughs> you may have to go to the Planned Parenthood. Hey, look. Thank you, Chicken Pete, for uh, <laughs> No, I don't think so. I just ain't going like that. Nah, since they nah. going going like that, eh? Uh, uh, but I appreciate you for coming through, Chicken Pete. For sure. Mm -hmm. Hey, look. All love. Thank you for uh, bringing you know them that. through, being jammy. Uh, it's amazing. And Carrie Noni Juice. Yeah, yeah, always keeping it juicy, y'all. All right, look, when we come back, we'll have more discussion. I got Elizabeth Brown in the building with me today. Hey, yo. They like it right here on Toy Love. Check out Jamming with Juice, where it's amazingly juicy. When Kanye said that slavery was a choice, are you hopping off that ship? Are you saying to be a slave? <laughs> you are so funny, Juice. <laughs> Come get your drop of juice. I wish I could just save everybody in the world who's going through something like that. And you know you always got a friend in Ben. Once you do pass down your wisdom to the next person, that's how you ultimately end up freeing the next generation. From the 414 to everyone across the globe, Jamming with Juice is here for you. Hey. All the five biddies to the flow hey. right now. Hey. Look, look at that. What? So ignorant. <laughs> That's like a bird so call. <laughs> Hey, y'all are y'all are hilarious. No stone left unturned. Is there a difference between hood, ratchet, and ghetto? I don't know if this man is the devil or the antichrist. That was juicy. Okay, that was extremely juicy. It's amazing. Check out Jamming with Juice daily on YouTube. Donors choose. Support a classroom. Build a future. Did you know that every year, public school teachers spend nearly $500 of their own money for student supplies? Let's do the math. That comes out to over $1.2 billion a year. And that's just not right. At Donors Choose, we want students and teachers to have the tools they need for a great education. And now, more than ever, they need your help. Here's what you can do. Go to DonorsChoose.org and choose from teachers' requests that support reading, math, science, history, and more. Once a request is funded, we'll take care of shipping everything directly to the teacher. It's that easy. You'll receive thank you letters and photos from students and teachers and a report of how every dollar was spent. Teachers' needs have never been greater. Learn more at DonorsChoose.org. Donors Choose. Support a classroom. Build a future. Listen to the home of the 5K Gruber Cash Giveaway. 101.7 FM, 1510 AM, WGKB Waukesha, and W269DL Milwaukee. A locally owned Good Karma brand station. This is your 101.7 The Truth News Update. I'm Julian Johnson. An update on the human remains story. Two items were discovered at Warnermont Park in Cudahy that could be linked to the severed leg found at the lakefront last week. Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office says an individual at the park came across the items Tuesday afternoon. 
The sheriff's office believes the items may be related to its ongoing investigation into the discovery of the human leg. No further details about the discovery were made available. A second bomb threat in less than a week at a Milwaukee school. Milwaukee police tell the Journal Sentinel that a threat was made before the school day began at Milwaukee French Immersion School on Tuesday morning. Police searched the school but did not find anything, so the school day continued as normal. This comes after a bomb threat was made at the same school as well as Grappi High School and High Mount Community School on Friday. Police continue to sink an unknown suspect in both incidents. Also on Tuesday, a bomb threat at Brookfield Elementary was determined determined to be a swatting incident. Could an unprecedented decision in a Michigan court come to Wisconsin? Jennifer and James Crumley became the first parents sentenced for a conviction of involuntary manslaughter in a mass shooting on Tuesday. Criminal defense attorney Jonathan Lavoie tells WTMJ. Whether it comes to Wisconsin will really depend on the facts of the case. I think there has to be severe facts related to the parents' behavior, that the parents knew what was happening with the gun, that they provided the gun to the student, and that there were likely scenarios that could have prevented this. The Wisconsin crime statute has party to crime liability, meaning those who aid or abet a crime can be held responsible. According to the latest government report, inflation isn't budging. Consumer prices were 3.5% higher in March than they were a year ago, inching upwards slightly and coming in slightly higher than expectations. ABC News reports shelter and gas are two areas that recorded higher prices, but prices for utilities and some grocery items decreased in March. Families are spending about $200 more a month than they were a year ago, and people are spending about $1,000 a month versus three years ago. Rent was one of the biggest reasons why prices were significantly higher or higher than expected in this latest government report. This has been your news update. The Tory Lowe Show continues on 1017 The Truth. We need each other. That's facts. I need, I need my sisters. I need my brothers out here. A coward dies a thousand deaths and for all the bootlickers. May you die a thousand and one. The place for the realest conversations. Tori, you want all the action? Or you want all the smoke? Oh, this man, I'm with all that smoke too, man. I didn't see Ron Johnson. He trash. Chisholm is trash. How the hell are you here to help us and your kids are dying in the street? I understand that this is Milwaukee and everyone believes that if someone says something, it's mentioned. It's not. I don't care if it's the past. If you see the past or acting right, you check that fool. Where's the results? Talking topics that need to be highlighted and discussed in our communities. Would you trade places with a black person? Uh, yeah, that's sure. No, I would not. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever said the N word? I'm not Come on, be the ready? truth. We on the truth. <laughs> Unfiltered and unfazed, this is the Tory Low Show on 1017 The Truth and The Truth App. The reason I believe the racism is getting worse is because whites know that they will be outnumbered in about 20, 21 years. Mm. They're going to be outnumbered. Hey, Tory, man. How are you doing, brother? I'm actually from India. We brown people can totally relate with you. And sometimes it's like, did that just happen to me? We have to not let the government mind if us either. That cop ain't never been brought to the public because he ain't normal and he may not even exist no more. Say no more. Release the video. You know, you keep on doing what you're doing, man. You're going to take over this talk radio, man. Just keep on focusing on what you're focusing on. I wish you a lot of love. God bless you, brother. Now, live from the American Family Insurance Studio in Milwaukee, here is Tori Lowe. The truth, the most requested advocate in the state. 101.7 FM. The movement continues. It continues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Milwaukee, stand yeah. up. Yeah. Stand up. It's Tory Low, the truth. From one to four, we about that action. So tap in and let's go. Uh, we want that justice. We want all the smoke. From Monday through Friday, trying to bring the city hope. Yeah. 
so we low from one to four, Monday through Friday, let's go. We bout that action from the block, and we ready, let's go. Tap in, and it ain't no holding back. We ready. We ready. One on one, seven, the truth. Tory Low. Tory Low Show live from American Family Insurance Studio at the Avenue. The movement continues. The marathon continues right here on 101 Seven The Truth. Thank you for joining me for the second hour of the Tory Lowe Show. In the building with me is Elizabeth Brown. How you doing, Elizabeth? Salute, King. All is well. Hey, I'm feeling the, the frequency. Hey, I'll tell you this. There's a story that we got to, we, we didn't get to yesterday, but we talked about it by the missing woman that was missing for nine days uh, at that time. Uh, Maybe today, maybe the tenth day, but um, there were talks about body parts being spread around Milwaukee County parks, things yes. like that. Um, I want to get an update on what's going on with this story. The family of a missing 19-year-old woman is still waiting for answers tonight. Shade Robinson disappeared from Milwaukee nine days ago. During that time, body parts turned up in Milwaukee and Cudahy. Law enforcement is staying tight-lipped about the discoveries and whether they're connected to Robinson's disappearance. 12 News' Emily Pofall joining us live in the newsroom tonight. Emily, you went to Milwaukee's mayor today looking for some answers. Yeah, Deanna, investigators have yet to speak publicly about the human remains. Tonight, the mayor tells me law enforcement asked him not to share any information with the public about the investigation. In the days since her disappearance April 1st, family and friends of 19-year-old Sade Carlina Robinson have been searching for answers. Over the weekend, finding Robinson's blanket in the same area Milwaukee police found human remains on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We need y'all support to help and find more evidence. Thanks to these people out here, we, we found a little bit more evidence, but we still don't know everything. Milwaukee police returning to the scene near 31st and Walnut after Robinson's family uncovered more potential evidence. Do you feel like the officers that are out there are being vigilant in their searches, or, or why do family members keep finding potential evidence? Well, uh, again, it's an ongoing investigation, so I can't comment. This is uh, certainly a situation that law enforcement, uh, and it's a multi-jurisdictional uh, effort uh, between the Milwaukee Police Department and, of course, the Milwaukee Sheriff's Department uh, as well. I know that those agencies take this uh, very, very seriously uh, and will approach it with due diligence. Mayor Cavalier Johnson tells 12 News law enforcement asked him not to share any information about the ongoing investigation or whether Robinson is linked to the human remains found. 12 News' Hannah Hilliard questioned Milwaukee County Executive David Crowley Wednesday. We are doing everything that we can to work with the Sheriff's Department as well as the Milwaukee Police Department to figure out what is going on. Did she confirm to you that this is connected to the missing woman of Sade Robinson? Nothing being confirmed. As of right now, there's still a lot of uh, investigating going on, so I can't, I can't confirm or deny that. Mayor Johnson did say he believes answers will come in due time. I think that when the law enforcement agencies, and again, multi-jurisdictional law enforcement uh, agencies uh, have enough uh, to present to the public, uh, to answer those questions and to answer them fully, to not create additional, you know, concern, uh, then they will do that. Hey, look, and sometimes when it's a situation like this and families are, you know, stressed when it comes to loved ones being missing, um, I, I know that the police will not tell a lot of the information. Yeah, and, and that makes sense because you don't want to get their hopes high, right? You know, or or have them to think the worst way. So it, again, you know, you you have to be real uh, strategic when it comes to this because a lot of people are going to be affected by it. But this uh Maxwell Anderson, this Maxwell Anderson, um, this guy that they got in custody, um, they they say they found evidence of of blood or and things in his in his house in his house. Yeah. Uh, they searched his duplex. On uh, he's a, it was on Milwaukee South Side. Um, this uh, Maxwell Anderson, uh, I, I guess uh, he's the focal point of these body parts. Correct. That's been spread it out all around the county, but they still haven't charged him. At least since I started the show, yeah, I haven't he heard been charged, that yeah. he has been charged. Right. So, this is an interesting situation. I heard that they situation. waiting on DNA 
Right. The yeah. DNA is supposed to come out. So right. DJ Brother Z, I'm going to need you to um see if there's anything, you know, why the show is going on to see if the there are any changes to this story. Because a lot of people feel that this could be connected. Um, The family yeah. is, you know, they need answers. Definitely need answers. And I remember when I was the looking for... You know, yes. people, I, as a as an advocate, and people would call me, I usually go to missing situations when there's not a lot of police activity. Correct. This has a lot of police activity around it. Correct. They have a lot of information they've collected. Correct. So I would say at this point, um, we should be hearing something soon. And anytime you got to go to the mayor when it comes to a missing person or the county executive, that pressure, that, that that means there's an extreme amount of pressure. And there should be. Uh, going on because the mayor and the county executive, they don't usually Never get involved on. in none Correct. of that. So when you see that, yeah, that means there's a tremendous amount of pressure, a tremendous amount of resources being used, and we should be hearing something soon. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. Hey, you know, and, and I'll say this, you know, when, pe- when families – Many times when I'm dealing with missing situations, I just I just roll with the fam because Offense. many times they don't trust that the system is working right. Rightfully so, though. I mean, with they the just history, don't trust it. Yeah. Again, with our history as a people, again, especially when we're talking about black girls and boys that go missing and right. don't get you know that 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 look at don't get the mainstream media don't get the energy right you know this is why families feel the way that they feel you know it's it's rightfully so i'll say this i'll say this i've i had many times had to just make sure that the family was just had somebody around that kind of understood what needed to take place exactly but i put together search parties everything we just went Followed all clues, you all know, facts. no matter if we thought it was real or not, yes. you know, because you don't know. You don't know until and, you know. Right. So, you know, so you turn every rock, you know, you looking at every pebble. Right. And you, then you in this case, everything and everybody. In this case, they have found some things at a park. Correct. Well, then now that the family had a location and they, they going to go look, you know, as they should. And many times a lot of people will say, hey, look, don't go over there. You might don't step on some again. some evidence or something like that. I'm going to tell you right now. The family is going to be looking more diligent than anybody else. Than anybody else, because it's they they think it's their loved one. That's you know their I mean? energy. So they're going to be trying to save and preserve and 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 watch, and they're going to have a, a, a definitely a, like a more energy of just trying to stay out there and comb over a lot of things. Correct. Many times, and I say this, you know, I've been a part of a lot of that. Correct. But and a lot of people might speak and say, "Hey, look, why don't they, you know, wait." To this or for Everybody, this information until it's your family until it's your family and you then you I'm out saying? there That's, when when you hear people want to go twenty four hours a day you for know your love they're not right. boots on the ground these are the individuals that right. sit on the couch mm. you know that'll tell you something like that because until it's your family right until it's somebody that you love you know do you understand what these people are going through and especially in our community because don't nobody give a damn until somebody give a damn. You know, and nine times out of mm. ten, that energy for somebody to give a damn is because the family is going diligently and not sitting around waiting no on nobody. They're they're going to get to find answers, you know. I agree. Hey, look, I'm gonna try to keep everybody updated. Um, I'm gonna make sure that I make sure that if there's any information that come out during this show, yeah, that will keep the public in the understanding of what's happening. Plus, um, they're waiting for DNA. Yes, they I are. I guess they've been holding uh, this Maxwell guy. They've been holding him over. Correct. This Maxwell Anderson over. They asked for more time so they can to put things together. Right. Yeah. Which I thought, you know, again, salute uh, for them requesting to keep him, you know, because mm-hmm. usually uh, they they usually get be out on the street. You right. Know? Uh, uh, so I'm glad they, that yeah. they took the initiative to hold him That's just to I make say. sure that it ain't if it's him that they still got him and people are protected. But if it's not him, he, he, you know what I'm saying? Right. He's unable to do any more damage. Right. All right. Um, there's another story that I wanted to cover before the end of this week. Um, Cause tomorrow we got guests, yes. you know? So right now I want to make sure that we cover the stories that we, that, didn't, that get that we didn't get a chance to, to get to. 
But um, this is one story that's just so disturbing. Um, there was a 13-year-old girl uh, that stabbed her mother. Yes. Over her taking her phone away. Her phone, yeah. I mean, and we've been talking about how people get addicted to phones. Phones, tablets. But, you know, when you hand your kid these devices. Correct. And then it becomes like their arm, like where yes. they are on this 24-7. Yes. These kids suffer a, a lack of understanding and maturity. And adults, too. <laughs> right. We're talking about the kids. We're trying to talk about the kids because the I'm talking about with the addictions. I, right, but what I'm saying is I know the adults, but I can't, I, you know, some adults need to do better. Yeah, correct. But but when it comes to the babies, yeah, you got to teach them. Yeah, correct. You know, and, but if and, if you as an adult is, I already to your understand phone, where you fit to go. You know, I'm I just already saying, understand where I, you're going I, with it. No doubt. But the girl, the yes. little girls, the yes. babies. Yes. It's a video out here. It it's is. a video out here where it's showing that parents are taking the tablets from and the, the kids, kids is losing it and yes. tearing up stuff. Yes. You know. So to me, when they react that way, because we couldn't have never did that. No. No. We couldn't have never. If, 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 if yo, we didn't have access to a lot of right. things as well, you know. So again, we're Generation X, hey, you know, I'm and a, we didn't have, you know, the the we didn't we had a, we had Atari. Again, we wasn't addicted to it. Like I, that. I was on Atari you know all day. Saying? I was like, on the Keystone Capers. I was on the. You uh, never heard somebody stabbing centipede. their mama because you couldn't. No, no, you know but but saying? back when I was a kid, I heard somebody got stabbed over a pork chop. <laughs> I did. It was stories like that, the neck bones and pork chops. I did hear those kind of siblings. stories. Right. It wasn't, you know, the yeah. kids doing it to the mamas. Right. But, I mean, it's lawsuits out here technically right now. Um, how you know, especially when it comes to you know our children and these devices. Right. Um, how addicting. That these and companies the knew it was. And the know? damage that it's causing. Tori, I was just watching a, a TikTok of the gamers, you know, and how all of these gamers are now cutting all of their hair off and their heads are deformed due to, you know, the headphones. Like, they, oh, they, okay. they heads they be, got the dents in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it really looked like... Turning into like a cone head. In, man, it, it looked real bad. But mm. it's just showing the addiction, you know, that our children have. When you see a three-year-old that's having a temper tantrum because their mama took the tablet and, you know, like they really can't function. When you see them break down like that, it's really an addiction. Mm. It's a problem. And, and they got all these uh, processed food ideas that's going on because Ben Jamin sh showed me that um that the Lunchables had lead in it. Yes. The Lunchables. Yeah. And, and what I'm saying is... Remember the, the, the baby formula. Right. Oh, yeah. They, and so, Come on. I mean, Come on. that's... The water. That's a lot of... It's a lot, again... Going on. We need to be questioning the FDA. You understand? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, okay, how can you okay. put something out there in the food and, and you're supposed to believe these companies are supposed to be, okay, this is safe, mm -hmm. but then it ain't. When you think about mm. the, 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 the setup hey. right now, Tori... You know what I'm saying? Because I was just having this conversation uh, about the trees. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, but the reality of us not being able to walk down the street, you know, and steal pears from somebody's house or, you know, they have the, the fruit and grape trees. And so many people in America with allergies because all the trees we have are male trees. Mm -hmm. And so all of the pollen that's coming from these trees is supposed to be, you know, going to the female, female trees. trees. But being we don't have any female trees, you know, now we having all of these issues. With allergies. It's a setup, you know. Mm. So when we're talking about the hey. food and stuff like that, that, you know, uh, seedless fruit that's, that's right. processed, you know. When you, when, you GMO. Don't have, when you don't have female trees, the soil is different. So you're not getting the nutrients that you're thinking you're getting. When they did the tests on the vegans and found out that some of the vegans' blood was just as dirty as the individual right. that hadn't because ate vegan. Because vegans. all the food was processed. At the end of the day, what are we doing? Hey, you know look, I'm, hey, I'm, <laughs> hey, look, I'm gonna tell you this. I like, I like, I like to eat now. We all, but you the, already but know. But the thing is, now, now you gotta research. And even if you research it, you have to understand that you have to find ways that you can fast for yourself and get get 
a certain kind of herbs and stuff because everything we eat is contaminated or is not what right. they told us it was because we America so many things get transported in me and you was just having this right. conversation about uh when they put organic on the bag and if America is receiving this from somewhere else that's not organic but America has the likeliness to put on the label whatever they want to here you mm. know cuz it's not against the law to their knowledge it is organic but being that there was a third party it's a loophole right but this is what i'm saying greed then took over greed period because once you get the food stuff together they got pfas in the socks come on they, they got Deodorant. chemicals in the clothes wait what <laughs> Hey, yeah, like they the, 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 hey, the they, clothes they, from Sheen. They saying the that it's PFAs from, in the clothes. Yes. People catching cancer. Right. All type, man, come on. Hey, We, look. we being poisoned, air, land, water, clothes, food, you know what I'm saying? But that's what I'm saying. Like, so this this young girl, let's, I'm going to bring it back to the young girl. We're going to hear the story out of Pennsylvania when we get back. But the fact that all of these things are going on and then with these technical, uh, you know, technological addictions. Come on. And they just freaking out, overly freaking out, tearing Literally. up the house. But this girl got her mom. Let's, uh, when we go to break, when we come back, I want to talk about what took place in Pennsylvania with the 13-year-old uh, who stabbed her mother oh, after her taking phone. the phone away. Mm -hmm. Hey, Truth Nation, when we come back, we'll have more conversations. Stay locked in right here on Tory Lowe. Don't touch that dial. The Tory Low Show will be right back on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. Truth Nation, join the Truth Team on Saturday, April 13th for our third annual Tory Low Community Cleanup. We want you to go to truthcommunitycleanup.com to sign up and be a volunteer to help keep Milwaukee clean. Everyone who joins will get a free lunch provided by Cousin Subs. Register today at truthcommunitycleanup.com. That is truthcommunitycleanup.com to clean and beautify our city together. The Truth Community Cleanup is sponsored by Cousin Subs and Safe and Sound. Are you or anyone you know looking for a job? Direct Connect NKE is a social media style platform that empowers you to grow your social network, find career opportunities, and connect with career specialists for success. Visit joindcnke.com today to learn how you can create a profile, upload your resume, and find access to information about jobs, job training, hiring events, and more. DCMKE is locally focused and equips you to grow your social capital and find opportunities that match your career interests. Here's how it works. Join DCMKE and their partner organizations and follow the employees that you find interesting. Then meet the career advocates in DCMKE's community to start forming meaningful career relationships. And lastly, scroll through your feed to find and apply to new career opportunities and get matched to openings by career advocates. Yeah, it's that easy. Access to great opportunities at the tips of your fingers. Visit joindcmke.com today and connect your dream to reality. That's joindcmke.com. Truth Nation! It's a big week for First Stage. The classic book series is coming to a live stage near you. Diary of a Wimpy Kid musical is coming to life at the First Stage Children's Theater in downtown Milwaukee. Bring the family to see this classic book turned into a musical by visiting FirstStage.com. The show runs at Marcus Performing Arts Center from April 6th to May 5th. Get your tickets today to see the Diary of a Wimpy Kid musical by visiting FirstStage.com for tickets. Whether you're an artist playing accountant, a barista trying to be a bean counter, or a student just looking to get started, the UW Credit Union app lets you be free to be you with free credit scores, free online bill pay, and the ability to send money to friends. Because with fewer fees, you can do more of what you love. UW Credit Union, here for every you. Join today at uwcu.org. Federally insured by NCUA. Garage doors giving you a headache? The best way I know to deal with it is to call my friends at Geis. Family owned since 1955, Geis is the trusted authority on garage doors and openers in southeastern Wisconsin. Trust me, I use them too. Geis has doors and openers for every budget and can even build custom designs to meet your exact preferences. For fast, reliable garage repair solutions, go to GeisDoors.com or call 262-784-4250. Don't think twice. Call Geis. More of the Tory Low Show is next on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. Uh, 
Roll another one. Shit, <laughs> I'm never like, you know, it's put you back in with the automatics. We gon' set them to have it. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, hey. One on one, saving that truth, Tory Low, Tory Low Show. DJ Brother Z on the ones and twos. Elizabeth Brown in studio with me today. Hey, yo. Hey, what's <laughs> happening? You already know. Hey, look, we got to go to Pennsylvania. Um, there's a story coming out of Pennsylvania where police arrested a 13 year old girl for allegedly stabbing her mother to death after she was uh, told to hand her mother her phone. She asked for the phone. Yeah. Let's listen. A resident I spoke with who wanted to remain off camera says that he believes Powell and her family were only living inside of the home for about a month prior to this incident. He says that he'd seen Powell go to and from school a few times, but other than that, he barely saw the residents or heard anything out of the ordinary. Friday at around 12.30 p.m., Wilkes-Barre City Police responded to a home on the 20th block of South Sherman Street. When officers arrived, they found Tamika Tucker had multiple stab wounds to her back and chest areas. Our news gathering partners at the Times Leader say Tucker was later pronounced dead by the Luzerne County Coroner, adding a juvenile male who was also found laying on a couch in the living room with stab wounds to his back. The juvenile was taken to a local hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The Times leader also say when Powell was approached by officers at the scene, she said she was sorry she killed her mother and that she stabbed her during an argument. Wow. She later told police she threw the knife she used in the attack on a neighbor's doorstep. I spoke with the neighbor in the area who found out the knife Powell used was left on her front porch. The neighbor says she was home at the time but was doing yard work in the backyard. But I'm just thankful to God I wasn't out because I really don't know what could have happened. But I look at it out of something bad, something good will come out for this young lady. What? Hey. I'll, bad. I'll say this. When we talk about things to watch for, mm -hmm. you don't think asking your child for the phone or for the not. tablet or I'm going to take your video game because you ain't acting right in school going to turn into you losing your life. Look what happened with the 10-year-old. Here. Right here yep. in the city of Milwaukee. Correct. It's real. Mm. And we have to make sure that we paying attention to it because, again, we're at a time where, as a parent, you know, seven-year-olds have iPhones, you know. Um, we Everybody children, got something. We're giving our children tablets, you know. They playing games, you know. We they allow, they play, if, they, this is where their friends at? This they whole social construct. Again, it, you can walk into a restaurant and you'll see a whole family eating, but everybody got their phone out. And I'm guilty. You could go on a you could <laughs> go on a date and have that happen. That's how bad it is. <laughs> who in the phone more important than who you going on a date with? Uh, apparently, you know, you don't know if they sl uh, Swiping left or right. You, you never know what's what? really going you on. You don't know right. if they on Tinder while they on the <laughs> hey. date. Well, if they, I guess if they got you off Tinder, what, <laughs> what's stopping them from getting somebody else? You got to hey. think about all that. But we, it, it can get tricky. As adults, you have to understand that a lot of adults sleep with their phone. Right. You know, they they gave out the warning about you Sleeping uh, with charging the phone, your charging, phone. Yep. You know, because it's, it's right on the bed. You have people. I didn't have people that will leave work to go back home and get their phone, mm. you know, because you feel naked without it, you know. Or you feel like you don't want nobody looking through it, so you forgot that it, and you too, don't want, you know, too. whoever at if the house the to go look through it. Hey, you that, be like that. that. Some people think that if they can get to your phone, they get they can see what's going hey, on. Hey, you can have my phone, fam. Hey, look, I'm going to tell you this. Look, if you, I ain't got nothing to hide. I'm, I'm going to tell you this. When I see people like, you know, that's sad, you know, because a lot of people live in, in, in encampments. In La La Land, <laughs> you know. And, and this is why hey. our children, the depression for our children and even some adults is so high because, again, they're on there uh, comparing their lives to, you know, the, the, the vanity of individuals that's online. Right. You know, the, the marketing idea is always running. Well, you and, know. I'll, I'll say this, like you said earlier, it was a lot of lawsuits from oh, yeah. how social media Correct. has caused even death and Correct. human traffic and uh, 
pushing pedophiles toward where the Correct. kids are and uh people have been become depressed yes because they've watched it's nobody uh that struggling on instagram come on Come on. I ain't, I ain't even look. I have not looked at one Instagram yet where somebody was struggling. They never going to show you that. You can see it on Facebook, and though. And you're always going to get that best shot. You know, after right. they took 50 pictures. And like I said, I'm guilty. I'm putting the best hey, the top five. <laughs> with the filter on it. Hey. But, you know, but the thing but, is, it's like we're living in a time where as a parent. Yeah. And you you doing the best you can. You, yeah. you, you trying to provide. Correct. You're trying to put clothes on their back. Correct. You're trying to make sure that they eat. Correct. And then, hey, give me the phone. Facts. You didn't. You because you're not doing what you're supposed to on. do. You don't think you're gonna lose your life? Not at all. No parent. I wouldn't even bought the phone if I'd have thought this Come phone on. was gonna end up in me losing. I would Come never on. got the phone. I mean, Tori. But like I you said, you never know you until never you know. know. You never know until you know. Man, and that's the I mean, problem. look at the situation with the young 10-year-old right here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Correct. where that has something to do with some type of device. He wanted a, a That's a, what they said, a, a virtual headset, right? And he ordered it, yeah. Okay, so what I'm saying is, should we be looking at these phones like, man, one day, Correct. If I, can, I, I'm, I'm, I've been leaving this phone in the hands of my babies. Correct. One day I might try to take it from my child and I might feel the wrath. Phone, tablet, you mm. know. It's so many videos of wow. parents showing you their children flipping out, you know. Um, mm. We just got to make sure hey, we're paying attention. I'm going to tell y'all parents, to those that's out there leaving them tablets in y'all kids' hands and just walking off and yeah. letting them, uh, you know, have these devices all day and mm -hmm. not really showing them real true interaction. Correct. You know, taking them outside, taking them to the park. Mm -hmm. You know, got the got the tablet raising them. Yeah, they might have some type of rage. Yeah. So they give them the phone and give them the tablet, and then the parents complain, "Oh, this phone is going to be the death of me." Yeah. Because even I mean, again, even with the parent, hey, you know, we always got our phones in our hand when we around the kids. And you notice, know and hold like, on, and notice that Zach ain't played the rabbit hole music on none of this. <laughs> We ain't going down real. the rabbit hole. You know, this is something I mean, that was that's happening. About, if you think about, you know, adults, because right now it, it's a lot of copper tunnel, you know, from you holding your phone all day mm. and scrolling, neck issues, you know, you're going to be is hung Is that back. from holding the phone? Yes, you're going to have. The neck issues yes. in the copper tunnel? When you're looking down, you know. Oh. I have a dent on my pinky. See? What? Yeah, from, from holding, holding my phone. phone. See? A like dent? A, like an indentation, yep. Uh, from him, where he was holding it. I'm oh wow! You, so have, like, hold your phone and then remove it, and like look at it's a dentation. Your your pinky and and feel feel where you normally hold it. Oh, especially wow. if you use the pop socket for a long time. See, mm, the phone growing into your hand. Mm. And they showing like plenty data and uh, future pictures on how certain generations gonna look due to the fact of them gaming. You know. Uh, having humps in their backs from being slouched over mm. on the computer. And then they say that the, the, the retina, the eyes. The eyes, yes. You, you may lose You're sight from You're watching going, the screen. Correct. Correct. Spending a lot of screen yes. time. Yes. Health issues. Mm. Hey, I, do we connected. care, though? We do. I think sometimes we wait until it actually happens. And we do. And then we, we reactionary. We are. Because we... We can't put the phone down. Again, this is a, a point in time right now where we're we're talking about it. Mm -hmm. And so now you can right. start paying attention to yourself. And Actually, not only that, when you're looking at it, it tells you how much screen time you didn't have. They they keep in track. I'm telling you, it's a documentary on Netflix. They they, they got it down. Hold on. This is what I seen. This uh guy was saying that Netflix, mm -hmm. all these social medias, they're not there for you to have a happy life. They're there for you to put your time yep. into their system, into Correct. their apps. Correct. So if you're spending 35 hours on these apps, Correct. that's 35 hours you're not spending with your family, with somebody you, that you know, part. walking in the park, exercising <laughs> at the gym. That part. Like, if they could consume your time. You're the most obese. Then they could get your money. They could get your money, Facts. right. Facts. Mm. And not only that, when we're talking about technology, Tori, there was a video that I just scrolled, um, and the woman was, it was a black woman, and she was um, 
talking about uh, Lexus Nexus, you know, uh, from the cars, mm -hmm. that your car is taking data of you, how many times you didn't pressed on the gas, how many times you were speeding, right. how many times you didn't slap, slammed on your brakes. And this company is connected to five of the major insurance companies. Feeding them information. And people's insurance is going up because your Nexus Lexus then sold your information to the insurance company and they letting them know how you're driving. Wow. Yeah, that's that's why I have higher insurance because my first insurance, I had like a Geico right. uh, GPS tracker that I had to put on the back of my yeah. uh, mirror. Uh -huh. And I didn't realize that like I was getting graded on my yeah. driving. Oh, so wow. like, one day I opened up my app and like it was they like reported. red. And I was like, dang, what the heck? And like I looked at it. And it was like speeding, speeding, yeah. like hard acceleration Had you or hard braking. Yeah. Like it was tracking. Yeah, like tracking that yep. stuff. And like, Nexus Lexus kind of scary. right now. Uh, so did your insurance go up? Yes. Yep. And so now it had that set rate. So then once I once that year was up or whatever, and they were, they were like, all right, well, you're like a at-risk driver, See? quote, unquote. So now we're oh, really wow. about to charge you. Yeah. So now you have to pay us like twice or three oh, times wow. as much. Correct. And if you don't, then like you're even in more trouble. And then when I try to switch, like to I could only get so much because mm. I'm already established as a quote unquote at risk driver. For the rest of your life. Yeah. Essentially. And, wow. And that's exactly what OnStar and, and these newer cars, they're selling your information. Well, right. look, that's why I ride trappers. <laughs> you know, I keep me a trapper. You know what I mean? Bruh. The big body. Hey, you but know? when we come back, <laughs> uh, we want we gotta head over to Charlotte because it's it's something interesting going on in Charlotte with the Marriott. A man is suing a Charlotte hotel for one hundred and sixty million dollars after alleged sexual assault. Wow, I heard about that. We gonna talk about it when we get back. We got Elizabeth Brown in the building. Truth Nation, stay locked in right here on Tory Lowe. The Tory Lowe Show returns after this on 1017 The Truth, the Truth app at 1017thetruth.com. Eagle Sports Range has an unbeatable offer on concealed carry license classes. For just $49, enroll in their three-hour class led by expert instructors prioritizing safety. Learn laws, techniques, and mindset for responsible carrying. Stick around for an optional hour of range time with instructors included in the package. Practice under professional guidance and gain confidence. Open 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. every day at 2525 East Lake Avenue in Cudahy. Secure your spot at EagleSportsRange.com. Eagle Sports Range, where safety meets skill. At Gruber Law Offices, we take great pride in helping those who have trusted us after a serious accident. Our team has the knowledge, resources, and experience to get you the results you deserve. Don't wait to get the help you need. Make the right call. Call Gruber Law Offices today. Proud partner of your Milwaukee Bucks. One call, that's all. It's time for Truth Takes, a thought-provoking commentary on the new 1017 The Truth. Here is Denise Thomas with her truth. Truth Nation, there has been an ongoing debate in terms of what work ethic means, and primarily across generations. You hear phrases like, this new generation doesn't know the meaning of work. They're entitled. And the younger generation saying things like, the older people... They work way too hard and not smart enough. All perspectives have some extension of validity. I want to share with you something that I heard last weekend that really resonated with me as it relates to work ethic. And the quote was, a lot of people want to learn how to play the guitar, but they don't want to take the lessons. And so Truth Nation, as we continue to have ongoing conversations about the meaning of work, and work ethic. I want to ask each of us to consider what work means to us and in terms of what we are looking to gain from whatever aspect of work that we deliver every day, is it equal to what we want to gain? In other words, are you putting in the work that's not just short game or 60 seconds or less, but the work that is going to create a long impact on whatever return on the investment looks like for you. 
Let's start having more conversations about the meaning of work, making sure that we're aligned on what that looks and feels like, and ultimately not giving up on doing the work. Because goodness knows we got a lot of work to do. This has been Truth Takes on the new 1017 The Truth. Listen to The Truth Be Told with DT and Telly weekdays from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. You are listening to The Tory Low Show on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. Yo, Nick, pass me. Oh, yeah. Hey, I find a loophole. Truth Nation. It's a big week for First Stage, a classic book series. It's coming to a live stage near you. Diary of a Wimpy Kid musical is coming to life at the First Stage Children's Theater in downtown Milwaukee. Bring your family to see this classic book turned into musical by visiting firststage.com. The show runs at the Marcus Performing Arts Center from April 6th to May 5th. Get your tickets today to see The Diary of a Wimpy Kid musical by visiting firststage.com for tickets. You like The Diary of a Wimpy Kid, uh, Elizabeth Brown? Yes, I do. My daughter used to read those books. I used to buy those books. Pow! <laughs> yes. For over 50 years, Cousin Subs has celebrated and embraced the traditions of their home state of Wisconsin. And now Cousins will be honoring a Wisconsin tradition like no other with their pull tab giveaway promo. Now through April 30th, while supplies last, guests will receive a Cousin Subs pull tab with a sub or sub bowl purchase for a chance to win Cousin Subs for a year and much more. For additional information and official rules, visit CousinSubs.com slash pull tabs. One pull tab per customer per transaction per day. To receive a pull tab with no purchase necessary, see official rules. Hey, look, I'm going to tell you right now that we need to really understand how things take place without us really knowing that we're in danger. Correct. And when we see stories like this phone with these kids and these video games and things like that, do not ignore that because some of y'all got kids right now that's that, that got that phone. Go, let's do a test. Yeah. Go, go take that phone from say they're going to have that phone for a week and see how they respond. All facts. That's, that's what y'all really need to do to see how, how how they react. Not only that, because we didn't said it on the show before. We need to test ourselves to see how right. how long can you put your phone down and pay attention to your kids. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Or, or to yourself for that self-care. You hey, know? look, I'm gonna tell you this. If if people don't start really understanding how far this technology is going, is, is, is actually addiction. I it's mean, we we talk about drug addiction. This deep. But this is technical. Yes. This is tech. This has been yeah. ushered in from. This is only happening within the last, you know, you know, two decades yeah. probably. And and this is a, a a real time that we need to be talking about what discipline is. Right. You know. I want to open up the lines. I want y'all to go. I want somebody to to take their phone, take Come the on. phone from the baby. Yeah. Take the tablet from the baby Experiment. and tell me how they how they respond to you and tell them they ain't finna get it. They ain't never finna get it back. <laughs> hey. Don't do that. I don't want nothing. <laughs> I don't want y'all to, hey. I don't want nothing bad to happen. Dave on talk to tech say, hey y'all, y'all right. I'm telling you, my daughter was acting up at school a couple weeks ago, and I told her I was gonna just let her phone go off by not paying the bill. Do you know how many apologies that I received from her? Mm. LOL. She wanna uh, keep that phone on. Hey. I remember, I remember when I, I think I got the Atari, when the first Atari, the Atari 600 came out. And I was playing it yeah. all day, you know, yeah. you know, grandma let me, you know, play it all the time. But I remember when grandma told me to like clean up yeah. or I couldn't play. Right. That was enough for me. Facts. <laughs> I can't play the video game. I'm going to go clean up. All facts. Because as soon as I get done, I'm coming back to the game. 
Well, you, I can honestly say I ain't never been addicted to nothing like that. If my my daddy like he was gonna take some, like he didn't took the TV, the stereo, and I'm like. I'm still finna go to school tomorrow and show out. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like, take all of it. <laughs> I really don't care. I ain't never been addicted to nothing like that. Mm. Hey, look, I'm going to tell you this. I, I think that if I was ever addicted to anything, mm -hmm. it was it was probably video games. Yeah. Like, John Madden, when I was with, like, I got good at football and I would always Bruh. play, you know, <laughs> I would always play John Madden. It was like the thing to do. Like, right. especially when the PlayStation came out. Oh, yeah. I just was like. Yeah. Stuck with the graphics, everything. Yeah. So I, I can see how it can happen, but I never went against when grandma said it was yeah. enough or when grandma said you got to go to bed. I was probably yeah. upset, but I never thought about, you know what I mean, taking action hey. against grandma. But, hey. <laughs> it's a new day. It's, it's a, a new it's, time. This, and this again, is what's going on. It's very addictive because there's plenty of lawsuits out there that's showing us. But not only that, like I said, you know, when you're looking at your children, Make sure you evaluate yourself as well. Because like I said, it's a lot of us mm. that can't move or function. They, they, uh, and the kids staring at them scrolling at the all phone. All facts. So they just mimicking Matter of fact, the they adult. give the kid the tablet so they won't bother them while they on their phone. Right. You know, I'm seeing 40, 50, 60-year-old women doing TikTok dances. And, right. I mean, like. Hey, they what they call a content creator. What, what, a, what a lane. They at. waited till they got 60 to be an influence. Come <laughs> It's a sad day. It, it, it ain't nothing wrong with it. I it's mean, it's a sad day. All uh, right. Well, you know what I see is now that they've made it so that you can get content and you can get paid. Correct. A lot of people are looking at social media like, okay, I can make money off this thing. Yeah, but especially black folks, uh, as they should. But at the same time, all just like Chicken P, he being shadow banned. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got banned off of TikTok from speaking the truth or trying to uplift black, black folks. I'm banned off Facebook right now. <laughs> well, I'm in Facebook jail. So. I, I'm a, I've been, <laughs> I, I've been, I got a whole list of how many times I was helping the community. And for me posting posts from helping the community that they, they said Correct. that I was gonna, they was going to restrict my page. I got the list and, and I got the post. Right. I said, so you, you, gonna, you, you can't help. But you can act a fool. But look, that that's the goal. Hey. That's the goal. Did we ever get to that Charlotte story? No, I'll have to catch back up. So okay, hey, look, well, we, we got to run the break. But when we come back, we got to get to that Charlotte story. Uh, a Charlotte man is suing the hotel for $160 million after an alleged sexual assault at the Marriott. We're going to talk about it when we get back. Hey, we got Elizabeth Brown in the building. Hey, yo. Truth Nation. Stay locked in right here on Tory Lowe. More of the Tory Lowe Show is next on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. Milwaukee, we are in the heart of the basketball season, and we have all the local hoops news you need to hear. Get your weekly smile on with our Nothing But The Truth basketball report, brought to you by Boobon Orthodontics. On Nothing But The Truth, we'll keep you in the loop on all the local Milwaukee hoops news from high school all the way to the pros. So don't miss your shot to join in on the hoops talk by tuning into the Truth Basketball Report on Nothing But The Truth right here on the new award-winning 1017 The Truth brought to you by Bubon Orthodontics, the official smile of the Milwaukee Bucks. The Empowerment Small Business Loan Program, we're talking about up to $5 million, which for small business owners, we need that. That's like payroll, that's resources. So can you just let us know what is the program and why is this lending program so important to Old National Bank? Years ago, our uh, CEO, Jim Ryan, this program is his brainchild. He was working with Roland Shelton, who yes. you know, Denise, out of Evansville. And they identified that African-American business owners, uh, Hispanic business owners, Native American business owners, as well as women business owners had a difficult time in obtaining financing from the traditional credit partners. And so we went out, created a program, launched it last year, 2023. And so far last year, we have helped over 100 successful minority and women-owned businesses with about $25 million in loans. We have already started wow. this year with almost $8 million in approvals, again, geared toward minority business owners and women business owners that normally had difficulties in, in obtaining a traditional credit finance. Life's better with American Family Insurance. Because our home policies help protect your dreams and come with peace of mind. Save up to 25% by bundling home, auto, and life. American Family Insurance. Get a quote, find an agent at amfam.com.
Products not available in every state. Discounts may not apply to all coverages on an auto or home policy. Discounts do not apply to life insurance policies. Visit Amfem.com to learn how discounts may apply to you. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, S.I. and its operating companies, American Family Life Insurance Company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. We Energies want you to keep this important safety message in mind. Before you start digging, planting, or landscaping on your property, call 811 to have underground utilities marked. Calling 811 at least three business days before you plan to dig will help you know what's below and can prevent a hazardous situation. Our representatives will mark the underground utilities on your property for free. So remember, stay safe and call before you dig. We Energies. People you can trust. Energy you can depend on. Hey Milwaukee, my name is Martina and I'm with the Independent Living Supports Pilot Program team. We help adults 55 plus and those 18 plus living with disabilities, providing up to $7,200 for home services, medical equipment, home modifications, and more. There's less than 30 days left to sign up for this program. See if you qualify today. Call 414-289-6874. Again, that's 414-289-6874. This program is made possible by Milwaukee County and Wisconsin Department of Health and Human Services. This is the Tory Lowe Show on 1017 The Truth, the Truth app at 1017thetruth.com. One on one, seven the truth, Tory Low, Tory Low Show. DJ Brother Z on the ones and twos. Joining me in the studio today, Elizabeth Brown in the building. Hey, yo. Holding it down. A Mississippi man who visited Charlotte in April of 2022 is suing a hotel in Uptown for $160 million after he, after he said another man got into his room and sexually assaulted him during his stay. Man. Let's listen. A deeply disturbing story this morning. A man visiting Charlotte from Mississippi and staying at a hotel in Uptown says another man got into his room and sexually assaulted him. The accuser now suing the hotel for $160 million. Mary Calkins is live with more on this very concerning case. Mary? Yes, Mary Naya, I spent the night looking through this lawsuit the man filed, and in these documents, he is referred to as John Doe. He's a member of the U.S. Air Force who, in April of 2022, was traveling through Charlotte to Orlando for training. Now, after some flight cancellations, he did book a room uh, using... Uh, this was at the Marriott City Center at the corner of Trade and Tryon. The lawsuit then lays out his story. He said he went to sleep in his room and did not realize the self-closing and self-locking door to his room were not functioning properly, and the door to his room did what? not properly latch shut or lock. The man said he woke up to an assailant sexually assaulting him without his consent. Oh, wow. John Doe said he howled in terror and lashed out to punch this Jermaine P and throw him off. The lawsuit says P ran away, stealing John Doe's wallet, a pair of what? pants, and a shirt. P was arrested in January of 2023 and charged with first-degree burglary, forced sex offense, and larceny after breaking and entering. He is still awaiting trial. Now, the lawsuit oh, alleges wow. the Marriott knew that the doors did not lock and did not provide adequate security. John Doe is suing for $160 million. Of course, we reached out to Marriott for their response to the lawsuit, and so far, we have not yet heard back. Oh, oh, that's a nightmare. Get that man his money. Give him his money. Okay, so I'm I'm chilling. I'm at, I, I didn't check in. I didn't win. You sleep. I'm sleeping. You and, sleep. And I'm waking up to somebody. Come on. What? Then crawled in the bed with you. Bold. And then stole your wallet, some pants, Damn. a shirt. You understand what I'm saying? Like, what did you? What? Get that man his money. Mm. Charlotte Marriott. Hmm. I, I I I I was gonna say something. I'm on mainstream radio. I can't say a lot of you know things that maybe maybe I'll, I'll get on Facebook Live and let and let it loose. Right. But since we on mainstream radio, <laughs> I'm gonna say it like this: I, When I go somewhere, I always check the lock on the door. Now, why did he lay down and go to sleep and but the see, door didn't work? Why didn't you actually change Tori, room? You know, I just you, ask. But see, when you but you don't know that because again, what he's saying is self locked. So when oh. you hear it, you know what I'm saying? It might sound like it locked, but it didn't. 
You know what I'm saying? So when you go into these rooms, again, you 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 when you walk into a room, you slide your key yeah, or whatever, you, you, and it makes a little noise. It do make the it, noise. But if there's if it's off, that's just like you know when we on the radio and then people can't call in. Right. You know, if there's a glitch or something going on and your mm. door not locked, remember the girl on um TikTok and Instagram who was saying that uh they had open uh like an opening in her closet where women was coming up missing right you know if they had a tunnel in their closet under the closet and they knew how to get in so she was a uh i think she's a a a stewardess uh for for planes she fly on planes but she telling women how to you know double check the door right but they usually got that latch up there that don't work because again they got ways to unlatched so she was telling women how to put a chair under their door and do all of these extra steps but again the marriott dropped the ball that's crazy like how can you go somewhere and wake up and somebody bold enough man to be in the bed with you and i'm a grown you, man i mean out of your sleep he must have been looking at him but he must have thought he was sweet from the time he walked in bro um i'm just saying because he must have sized him. You had to size him up. To the hotel, though. He had to size him up, though, because you just ain't going to go after anybody. Hey, it's a new day. <laughs> it's a new day, King. Hey. He tried it. All right. Well, look, hopefully you get that money. Marriott. I'm traumatized. I'm gonna have, they got to pay money. for a lifetime of trauma. Facts. And then he robbed him on top of that. Robbed him? And ran. What was he doing in the Marriott anyway? Hold on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, All right. Yeah, that part. Hey, look, Truth Nation, when we come back, uh, the woman who uh, sold Joe Biden's daughter's diary yeah. to a media outlet, mm -hmm. they putting her in jail. You can't mess with the Bidens. The Bidens going to get you. Hey, hey, Joe Biden, uh, you know. That's an enterprise. They going out to anybody that come against them, but... Uh, his daughter had a diary that yeah, got compromised, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to talk about it when we get back. Truth Nation, they liked it right here on Tory Lowe. From the biggest plays on the court to the comments made in the locker room after, an in-depth recap of every Bucks game in six minutes. No more, no less. Bucks in Six provides game recaps for every game. Hear the high-flying dunks from Giannis. Puts it on the floor, spins down the lane, and plunges it through. Or the deep threes from Dane. Dane time has arrived with 107. Bucks in Six on the Bucks Plus Audio Network. Find it now on Bucks.com slash plus or on Spotify, Apple, and wherever you get your podcasts come in with straight truth i'm not saying cut the person off and don't give them any money at all i'm saying it has to be earned this just dropping loot and giving it to people is weird to me because that's why we're, in many cases we're in the predicament we are that's why usually five years after people win money win money get money from a death in the family they're broke and all i can say there's a reason for that Listen to Truth in the Afternoon with Dr. Ken Harris on 1017 The Truth and The Truth app. My name is Ariel. When I arrived in the U.S. at 19, I struggled to find job opportunities without my high school diploma. My entire life changed when I took a chance and got my high school diploma at age 22. Everything I have, my education, my career, my marriage, I owe to the Adult Literacy Center and my teachers. They were with me every step of the way, helping with my English and math, making sure I push through all the challenges. Ariel, your success proves that what I'm doing as a teacher has real meaning. It was an honor helping you achieve your greatness. Now you're helping others achieve theirs. It inspires me. Education was the key that unlock all my opportunities. When you graduate, they graduate. Find free and supportive adult education centers near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Brought to you by Dollar General Literacy Foundation and the Ad Council. Severe flooding from recent hurricanes and other storms has left hundreds of thousands of cars, trucks, and other vehicles unsafe to drive. Flooded vehicles are supposed to be dismantled for usable parts or crushed for scrap, and a flood title should be issued to that car. But some shady dealers will buy a flooded vehicle, clean it up, and get it retitled with no indication it was flooded. Or uninsured cars will be cleaned up by the owner and sold online, also with no warning to the buyer. 
If the price is too good to be true, it probably is. Make sure to check for flood damage and have a qualified mechanic inspect the vehicle before you write a check. The free VIN check service from the National Insurance Crime Bureau is a good place to start. Head over to NICB.org to check it out. To report fraud, call us at 1-800-TELL-NICB. This is a public service message from the National Insurance Crime Bureau. You're listening to the new 1017 The Truth, founded in partnership with Uber Law Offices. One call, that's all. 1017 FM, 1510 AM, WGKB Waukesha, and W269 DL Milwaukee, a locally owned Good Karma brand station. This is your 1017 The Truth News Update. I'm Julian Johnson. An update on the human remains story. Two items were discovered at Warnermont Park in Cudahy that could be linked to the severed leg found at the lakefront last week. Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office says an individual at the park came across the items Tuesday afternoon. The Sheriff's Office believes the items may be related to its ongoing investigation into the discovery of the human leg. No further details about the discovery were made available. A second bomb threat in less than a week at a Milwaukee school. Milwaukee police tell the Journal Sentinel that a threat was made before the school day began at Milwaukee French Immersion School on Tuesday morning. Police searched the school but did not find anything, so the school day continued as normal. This comes after a bomb threat was made at the same school as well as Grappi High School and High Mount Community School on Friday. Police continue to sink an unknown suspect in both incidents. Also on Tuesday, a bomb threat at Brookfield Elementary was determined determined to be a swatting incident. Could an unprecedented decision in a Michigan court come to Wisconsin? Jennifer and James Crumley became the first parents sentenced for a conviction of involuntary manslaughter in a mass shooting on Tuesday. Criminal defense attorney Jonathan Lavoie tells WTMJ. Whether it comes to Wisconsin will really depend on the facts of the case. I think there has to be severe facts related to the parents' behavior, that the parents knew what was happening with the gun, that they provided the gun to the student, and that there were likely scenarios that could have prevented this. The Wisconsin crime statute has party to crime liability, meaning those who aid or abet a crime can be held responsible. According to the latest government report, inflation isn't budging. Consumer prices were 3.5% higher in March than they were a year ago, inching upwards slightly and coming in slightly higher than expectations. ABC News reports shelter and gas are two areas that recorded higher prices, but prices for utilities and some grocery items decreased in March. Families are spending about $200 more a month than they were a year ago, and people are spending about $1,000 a month versus three years ago. Rent was one of the biggest reasons why prices were significantly higher or higher than expected in this latest government report. This has been your news update. The Tory Lowe Show continues on 1017 The Truth. We need each other. That's facts. I need, I need us, my sisters. I need my brothers out here. A coward dies a thousand deaths, and for all the bootlickers, may you die a thousand and one. The place for the realest conversations. Tori, you want all the action? Or you want all the smoke? Oh, this I, I, I'm with all that smoke too, man. I didn't see Ron Johnson. He trash. Chisholm is trash. How the hell are you here to help us and your kids are dying in the street? I understand that this is Milwaukee and everyone believe that if someone say something, it's snitching. It's not. I don't care if it's the past. If you see the past or acting right, you check that fool. Where's the results? Talking topics that need to be highlighted and discussed in our communities. Would you trade places with a black person? Uh, yeah, sure. No, I would not. <laughs> Have you ever said the N-word? I'm not Come on, be the truth. We on the truth. <laughs> Unfiltered and unfazed, this is the Tory Lowe Show on 1017 The Truth and The Truth App. The reason I believe the racism is getting worse is because whites know that they will be outnumbered in about 20, 21 years. Mm. They're going to be outnumbered. Hey, Tory, man. How are you doing, brother? I'm actually from India. We brown people can totally relate with you. And sometimes it's like, did that just happen to me? We have to not let the government mind us either. That cop ain't never been brought to the public because he he ain't normal, and he may not even exist no more. Say no more, release the video. You know, you keep on doing what you're doing, man. You're going to take over this talk radio, man. Just keep on focusing on what you're focusing on. I wish you a lot of love. God bless you, brother. Now, live from the American Family Insurance Studio in Milwaukee, here is Tori Lowe. Boy, go crazy. Justice Wisconsin, the truth. 
The most requested advocate in the state. 101.7 FM. The movement continues. It continues. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Milwaukee, stand yeah. up, yeah. stand up. It's Tory Low, the truth from one to four. We about that action, so tap in and let's go. Uh, we want that justice, we want all the smoke. From Monday through Friday, trying to bring the city hope. Yeah, Tory Low from one to four. Monday through Friday, let's go. We about that action from the block, and we ready, let's go. Tap in, and it ain't no holding back. We ready, we ready. 1017, the truth. Tory Low, Tory Low Show, live from American Family Insurance Studio at the Avenue. The movement continues. The marathon continues right here on 101.7 The Truth. Thank you for joining me for the third hour of the Tory Low Show. And we got Elizabeth Brown in the building. Hey, yo. Hey, holding it down. No doubt. That's what's happening then. You know? We got to go over to Florida. A Florida woman is sentenced to a month in prison for theft of Ashley Biden's diary. Amy Harris pled guilty in 2022 to a conspiracy charge. Uh, Don't mess with Joe Biden. Don't mess with the Biden family, the crime family. Hey, look, I'm going to tell you this. He incompetent now. He can't. He He can't, can't stay in trial. But he can run for president. Come on. Make it make sense. Hey. He can run the country. Hey, the math ain't bad. But he too incompetent to go to court Mentally. for crimes. Yeah. Correct. Make it make sense. Only in America. Mm. She, t- the diary now. Now allegedly it was some things in the diary they had Joe Biden say a whole bunch with of. with things that the daughter said was inappropriate to Joe Biden and, and her and things like that in the shower. Correct. In the shower. So mm-hmm. uh, you know, hey, hey, but. You can't mess with the binds right now. Anybody messing with the binds going, they hey, might, they might getting them in diapers. That's why I stopped talking about it. <laughs> I seen that everybody diapers. that was trying to tell everything. They, hey, hey they ended up. Hey, one of them SUVs with the with the police lights on the All side packs. of them. Like even to a point of a guy hey. trying to take a flight with a Joe Biden shirt on, like going hey. against Joe Biden. They told him to get off the plane. Like, hey. <laughs> but look. If you want to chime into the conversation today, 833-212-1017. Talk to text, 833-212-1017. 8239 says, can I say that, uh, DJ Brother Z? I, sometimes I forget. Oh, wait, here. You said 8239? Yeah, 8239. He, oh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay, I guess. I'm just trying to make sure. <laughs> Damn. How... How, at gunpoint, a grown man really getting his boo tang or sausage violated without putting up a fight? Or was he just he was playing fighting. sleep until old boy reached the pinnacle? <laughs> he, he was fighting. They say he was fighting. You know, he was punching him. Mm. You know, but again, you have to put yourself in a situation where you're asleep. You you you, you, you sleep. in your hotel room. You're asleep. You're thinking the door is locked. You think everything good. Try to, probably having a dream about Holly Berry or something. <laughs> I, even you know you was hey. dreaming. You know, at the end of the day, looking at Elizabeth Brown on One One Seven The Truth <laughs> on YouTube while we broadcast live. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> hey, we go into the lines. Al, you on the new 1017 The Truth Tap In. Well, I, I'm trying to understand <clears throat> with these 2,000 babies and older. What is this stuff now, kids tearing up the house? Mm-hmm. Don't nobody got no control of the kids. Right. Everybody worried about CPS. I'm just trying to mm. understand because, see, this is not the kids. This is the parent. See, I thought you run your house like a dictatorship. Don't nobody got no choices when they depended on mama and pops. But then again, if you're getting high with your kids, getting drunk, you're allowing your kids not to go to school, what what they make think I have. And then they think about, I'm hearing parents talking about, well, CPS. And I'm like, well, first of all, CPS doesn't run your house. And I have had issues with when CPS came to my house, and the girl was only 25, and she said, well, you can get a felony. And I told the young girl, well, if I get a felony, I'm going to beat his ass again. That's how I roll, because this is my house. Jesus don't even run my house, and he can get it too. 
where I come from. You going to jail, so Al. Al, you going to jail. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it, yeah. I mean. Well, yeah, that's true. You're well, definitely going to jail. They want to bail you out. Well, I understand that. And I have seen when parents pull sled cameras on their kids. But guess what? Them kids knew they place. I just don't understand Correct. in 2024 how all these parents sitting here letting these kids tear their house up. And then when they get out on these streets and somebody go upside their head, they want to come outside mm. yelling and screaming with butcher knives. So you got to run your house correctly. You're correct. And if you, can't run your, if you can't run your house correctly, say no to sex. Okay? Mm. That's all you got to do. When in doubt, abort it out. Because if it's going to be a big issue now, and a lot of these parents be seeing these kids acting up, and some of the daddies be there too, if y'all, if y'all allow y'all kids to get like this, Y'all have nobody to blame except yourself. I'm not trying to be cold-hearted. I'm just saying I don't understand in 2024 how these kids is running their parents and the parents here acting like they're scared. I the, don't get it. See, well, I, the, I, I, the parents I, I, I is, uh, again, their hands are, you have to think about it too, though, Al, that the, the government is running the parents. You understand? And at the same time, the government is telling the parents that they can't discipline their children. You know, when your, well, your kid is uh, missing days, and, and we're already talking about, we're having real life conversations talking about should a parent get locked up if they child do something, but at the same time, it's the same parent that can't even, don't even know that their child is deciding to be a, a, a he, she, or, or they. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like the school well, can keep that from the parent. The parent can't even tell the yeah. child that they can't, he can't become a she, but the government is telling the parent that they don't have no say. So again, we got to get the confusion I, taken away because in the in the meantime, between time, we losing our children. And I and I understand that because I have relatives like in my, my some of my relatives, uh -huh. they are very gun ho, and ain't nobody telling them what they can and can't do with their kids. Right. And some of them don't believe in I'm that. One of that I, I'm Matter like that fact, too, right? I just I just don't understand in 2024. You know, if you're allowing your kids to skip school and you're allowing your kids to steal cars, and I know we got some good parents out there. Let me put that down. Who had kids in the 2000s? If you're allowing your kids to do all this stuff and you're not, what is they spare the rice for the child or vice versa, how do you think they're going to turn out? That's all I'm saying. Mm. So I, I just want... I just want y'all to have yourself a good day, but it just kind of confused me because I seen the situation yesterday. A girl had like eight kids. They bad as hell. They just jumping, and I'm just like, wow. And then the man asked me if I could. T he asked me, could I tell my kids to sit down? And I told him, don't put that on me. Those are not mine. Oh wow. And the girl just, and the girl just sat there and looked at me like I was crazy. But anyway, y'all have yourself a good day. You too, All right, uh, look, I'll say this. You know, a lot of people. They, they had probably bad childhood experiences or things that happened to them. Then they want to be the friend. They want to be the buddy. And you know what I saw that disturbed me? Because I've been an advocate for a long time, and I've seen adults who would allow the children, because they allow the children to smoke weed, but then they, they kids became the weed fetchers. Yeah. Fetching the weed for them. For their parents, yeah. It's out. It's all oh, out wow. here. But the, again, the confusion, and I think the government has a lot to do with that. Especially when you're telling a parent, you can t you, you're telling a child that they can call the police on their parent if certain things don't go right. When when taking my daughter to the to the doctor and they telling me that I can't go back there with I my think, child. I think that's some of it. I think that's some of it. It has a lot to do with it. Well, I, I deal with. It. I'm an advocate for women that it get in those situations. Correct. But what I'm saying is, it comes a point where you gotta pump the brake. A you little do. bit because then it becomes detrimental Fact. at some and point to yourself at. correct and to your child like and that's where we and, are and, and and many times you know as humans as we grow that's why i was trying to tell somebody the other day you can't help where you came from or Facts. where you was born but you got to start writing your own story you at certain no point doubt. or somebody gonna write that story for, for you. you you're correct so so it gets to a point where you got to make sure that you're making the adjustments because we all came up under the stress of the social engineer. Correct. Okay. But it comes a point where you have to logically start making diff different decisions. Yes. Yeah. You, you, you got to choose. And, and, and like I said, at certain points you have to say, okay, this, this is starting to be detrimental for me mm -hmm. and my children and Correct. my family. So Correct. when you start seeing that and you continue 
Yeah. I don't know if that's social engineering at that point because it's not. I think when you mommy say, "Hey, don't touch that fire on the stove." Right. You ain't. You don't know if it's hot. Right. You until you touch. Until you touch it. Facts. But once you touch it, you make the adjustment. You're correct. Okay. So when do you allow for people to finally uh, make certain adjustments after they didn't touch the fire? Again, I think that's individually. Right. You know it. Different people going to do different things. But in reality, I think the parents' hands are truly tied because, again, when you decide that you're going to, like the mother who took her daughter's phone, she that's her right because she paid the bill. She didn't know it was going to end up like that. All facts. Right. But in she reality, had no clue yet. Exactly. you don't know until you know. You don't know until you, <laughs> you wake up at the pearly gates, that, I guess. That part. Hey. You know what I'm saying? But the the overall thought of them telling you that you're the parent and they want you to take accountability, but they done took your right to control your children out of your hands. I, I agree. You know, that's why I, I'm an advocate for si stupid situations like that. When Facts. when they show up with the two uh, uh, social workers Correct. and the five police officers Correct. and they feel like, okay, y'all trying to stop me from parenting, I get involved in that. You do. But then in some cases where, like, you know, Y'all may not shouldn't have did that. Facts. You know, you shouldn't have did that. Facts. All facts. And you should, as an adult, as far as this growth mm -hmm. and development, that's yes. why they say growth and development. They took it, and now they shaking up with it. Yeah. But what I'm saying is it's a real fact of life that at some point you have to add the growth and development to your life. Uh, and you do have yeah. to. When you know better, you start to do better. Right. But at the same time, like I said, when you have a government who has – tied parents' hands because, like I said, in the same heartbeat that they'll tell you that it's your responsibility to do this and do that for your kid, and now my kid is at school and they're using pronouns and I haven't been tapped in to this pronoun. Yeah, and when and I that say recently, that I'm against that's your boy, that's your Biden administration correct. that then ushered and, all and that And when in. I say that I'm against it, you telling hey. me that you will lock me up. But you're going to go vote for the, Come the same people that all put those facts. rules in place. So Mental illness how, is real. How how about it is you about standing against it if you vote for the people that's implementing it? You're correct. Again, hey. you know, the, the rabbit hole goes deep because uh, I don't hey. think a lot of people voting for it. It's I, tricky. I, th I think that they... It's a system. They don't really know what they vote for. I believe some people that's just going to the from the mainstream from lot of what's popular right. and not really You're doing correct. their research. But some of those votes added to what's going on today. And you are correct. Okay. Well, we're going to head to the lines. Norm... You on the new one on one seven the truth tap in. What's up, my brother? How you doing, brother Norm? Sister? Hey, King. All right, all right. Hey, good to hear from y'all. Hey, I got a, a thing that go back since the eighties. Now this is really deep. You remember when these young cats were selling drugs, and then they had older cats who owed them money. How you sixteen and you hitting a twenty six year old in the head because he owe you money? Oh wow, Facts. that messed up the whole game. We used to respect our older people. Go home, little punk. We didn't we, forget you, but we went home. Yes. When that drug came and messed up right. the whole Come game, on. knocked everything off and balance. Young kids don't have no respect for older people. Come on. Hey, peace, man. Y'all have a good That's day. That's true. Love, Salute, love. King. That's true. All facts. You know, and and I remember when I was growing up in Milwaukee, where old people was getting jumped by a group of teens, facts. killing yeah. our older people. When I was a kid, area. that was the crack era, right. though. You know? And the thing is, it's like. Right when they and and like I said here another program where come on backed by the government let's let's talk about okay it. they did that and then we got the brunt of that yeah because people became crackheads correct I remember older people running around my neighborhood correct crackheads and we facts. didn't respect them all facts remember the one song your mama's on the crack, crack rock. rock you know what I'm saying Man. like that yeah. song was crazy it was crazy we gonna head to the lines. Kathy, you're on the new 1017 The Truth Tap In. I just love the queen when she comes on. I'm going to tell you hey, something. Queen. You're welcome. You know, we, we can't expect a lot of parents to know what time it is, but they don't know what time it is themselves. A lot oh. of them raise wrongly self from the environment, so we can't say that parents should put limits on stuff. If someone can even come up with some kind of idea to propose it to somewhere, some world, somewhere that... They, when you're on your phone, it's a time limit in the morning, maybe an hour, afternoon, you get home from school, you do your homework, but you do not take a phone to bed with you. 
at night. The phone, all the phones stay out and get charged up, or you're not taking a phone to bed with you at night. No, but you have to start that out early. You can't wait till I get 15, and I've been doing it since I was mm, 16. And then right. the phone. Yeah. You, you, you mean, that's like telling me, well, Let's stop smoking today, or let's don't have sex when you're 35 years old. Let's wait till you get married now. Well, I already touched that cigarette. I'm going to have it. So there's a hard restraint once you get a certain size, weight, to tell people to stop eating, to stop using your phone. That's not going to happen like that. It's too late, Alma. Yes, I go home and get my phone at lunchtime sometime, okay, like that. What I'm saying is that you... It's a difficult task with the parents we got now out here and even before because they're in our structure right themselves to tell the, th- the 13 year old, hello, hold up, when does she have the baby? 13 herself? So you got a, a baby managing a baby in a mind of a 30 year old. Some a lot of these people are like Al said, they're just off. I know I've seen people, house full of kids myself, like he said, eight, nine, ten years old as a, as a landlord. I mean, it's, it's, it's a, it's, um, no, somebody got to give them some directions. You have a child and start going into school. Maybe Maybe the books will go home with the parents. I'm just guessing. Somebody can come up with one that's saying that this is what's going to help you. You can't, you know, please try these, try these, try these things out. Because once they get a hold of that, that apple, and they like that apple, you can't stop them from buying it. It'll be difficult. I know the child took all her clothes off in school and had a fit. Um, when the teacher called a the parent, they took the phone from them. I'm talking, had a temper tantrum. Yeah. Tore up the place. Yeah. Mm. It's real. I'm bad. You know, so we got the stuff the, the, the going on the way before they get 13 and 10 years old. First of all, you ain't taking nothing in school at a certain age and, and stuff anyway. They got the emergency room there, and, and they can call and the 911 if they need to. You got to put certain things in place with these children, and you got to do it ahead of time. But you can't tell a 20-year-old mother or a 30-year-old mother that half of them ain't got good sense. They out here fighting and going to the school. Of they on the social watch. media fighting in the comments right, all day. Right. They drinking the lead right, water, they, too. That's what they know about it. Actually, they be led kids, too. But that's all that they know. They mm. showed a video last month on a woman teaching her eight- and nine-year-old kid how to take people purses when they go in the bathroom and see a little girl crawl up under and snatch the bag. Or you're at the buffet, and they go into the booth where you sit at and take your bag and your purses from you. They were wow. training the children to do that. Okay? So I'm going to tell you something. Take yourself down to Florida and start stealing. $40 and over, guess what they're doing? If you steal over $40 worth of stuff, that's a felony. Mm. Hey, look, they trying to get you. Now, look, I'll tell you this. You can continue to not develop. Yeah. Because they got a jail cell yeah. for you. Yeah. <laughs> they don't care. They don't. You making them money. That's the whole goal. Right. You know, because when she talking about go down to Florida and steal, remember, that was the husband and wife that was paying people right. the money to go in and do the smash and grabs and all of those high-end mm-hmm. stores who made millions. Sure did. But you the thing is. At the end of the day, I would say that the trap is to get you trapped so Facts. they can make money. Facts. So they'll 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 pollute a certain thing to cause you to make mental errors. Correct. That will cause them to make money. All facts. It, it's a whole game it that is. people don't really want to talk about. That's why I say when you got a, a a township like Milwaukee that's a profit off a of poor, poor. Come township Come on. where you don't see. Uh, Living wage jobs on At the all. north side, nope. hey, but you do see a lot of nonprofit ideas Correct. that make the money off the pain of the people. Yep. So that's the business and that, the mental illness. You part. the business. Correct. We are the business. <laughs> your your you, problem is just the money. This is the reason that they eat. Hey, look. When we come back, we gonna go to Valerie. Valerie on the lines, and we got some talk to text. We got some chat. We are gonna try to get to it all when we get back. Truth Nation. Stay locked in right here on Tory Lowe. Don't touch that dial. The Tory Low Show will be right back on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. What's good, y'all? This is 1017 The Truth's Telly Hughes, and I am Milwaukee. The goal of Truth Be Told with DT and Telly is to provide a platform for citizens of Milwaukee and Truth Nation to have their voices heard about concerns that have daily direct impact. So join the home of Milwaukee's realest conversations where you can speak your truth. We are the award-winning 1017 The Truth, Milwaukee Black Talk. The Empowerment Small Business Loan Program, we're talking about up to $5 million, which for small business owners, 
We need that. That's like payroll. That's resources. So can you just let us know what is the program and why is this lending program so important to Old National Bank? Years ago, our uh, CEO, Jim Ryan, this program is his brainchild. He was working with Roland Shelton, who yes. you know, Denise out of Evansville, and they identified that African-American business owners, uh, Hispanic business owners, Native American business owners, as well as women business owners had a difficult time in obtaining financing from the traditional credit partners. And so we went out, created a program, launched it last year, 2023. And so far last year, we have helped over 100 successful minority and women-owned businesses with about $25 million in loans. We have already started wow. this year with almost $8 million in approvals, again, geared toward minority business owners and women business owners that normally had difficulties in, in obtaining a traditional credit finance. Experience, knowledge, and results. That's what really matters when you need help after a serious truck accident. You'll need a lawyer experienced in fighting and winning for people just like you. Gruber Law Offices has the resources, strong track record of success, and a team of experienced lawyers to take care of your needs. We've successfully helped people injured in big truck accidents for more than 35 years. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Truth Nation! It's a big week for First Stage. The classic book series is coming to a live stage near you. Diary of a Wimpy Kid musical is coming to life at the First Stage Children's Theater in downtown Milwaukee. Bring the family to see this classic book turned into a musical by visiting firststage.com. The show runs at Marcus Performing Arts Center from April 6th to May 5th. Get your tickets today to see the Diary of a Wimpy Kid musical by visiting firststage.com for tickets. We Energies want you to keep this important safety message in mind. Before you start digging, planting, or landscaping on your property, call 811 to have underground utilities marked. Calling 811 at least three business days before you plan to dig will help you know what's below and can prevent a hazardous situation. Our representatives will mark the underground utilities on your property for free. So remember, stay safe and call before you dig. We Energies, people you can trust, energy you can depend on. More of the Tory Lowe Show is next on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. That song came out. Look what you just started, Elizabeth Brown. <laughs> hey. Got DJ Brother Z digging in the I crate. I love you, DJ Brother Z. Hey. Don't go out there and be playing that in the club. <laughs> Why? Now, DJ Brother so Z. Wait, oh, wow. Will I get in trouble if I play this at room no, 7 No, I morning? don't know. <laughs> uh, they, no. Might, they might be like, what's that? <laughs> That's oh, history wow. right there. But that was a real song, it's though. Re it was real life. They was trying to tell us. All facts. All facts. People mama was on the crack run. And that's when rap, you know, it was conscious. They was that's when they was trying to tell the messages. All facts. We go ahead to the lines. Valerie, you on the new 1017 The Truth Tap In. Hi, and thanks for taking my call. Um, I'm a first-time caller, but I, and I don't know what the topic is, uh, but I just kind of chimed in the midst of it, but I think I got the gist of it. But mm -hmm. I just wanted to say that... Um, there's a there's a so many dynamics to this one problem as I'm listening to everybody. There's so many dynamics to this one problem, and the area that I was thinking about is uh, the area where you have children raising children, mm, teenage pregnancy. And then you have, yeah, and then you have their mother and fathers were children. You know what I'm mm. saying? So you have a generation of children trying to raise children, trying to raise children, trying to be parents, and they have not a clue. I'm 70 years old. I raised five daughters. I have 10 grandchildren, and I think I have six great grands. I'm not sure. But anyway, the days of the Madeas and the Big Mama mm. is over. It, it just, it's just over. And so many of these children that are raising these children, they don't have that kind of foundation. So they just go with what they know and what they've been exposed to or what they haven't been exposed to. So that's a piece of the uh, 
dynamic that's adding it to the big pot. So we got a whole lot of things going on here for this one problem. And unless we dress them all, we're not going to really uh, uh, see too much change. So I, I just wanted to add right. that piece in it that these children are raising children and they don't have a clue. They don't care whether their kids on the phone at night time, as long as they out of their hair. Mm. You know, and so that's the mentality. And so, you know, as a 70-year-old grandmother, great-grandmother, you know, I pray for them. I try to help those in my family, those that I see in the community or whatever. But we just all have to try to do our part. And like you were saying, um, Ms. Brown, the government, you know, all these things are part of that dynamic. And so yes. we got a big problem. But uh, we just have to keep – we, we got to keep put tugging at it. Thank you. I agree. And every in every step of the way when it comes to the black community, every time we made the adjustments, the government made, made the adjustment. adjustment. Damn right. So like we can make an adjustment, mm -hmm. but they gonna make the adjustment. You're correct. Because I'll tell you this, we wanna believe in a lot of the mission statements, but the truth is it's for our detriment. Everything that they gave us to do <laughs> was to going to benefit them. Them in the long run. Correct. And many times when you talk about CPS. I thank God that I grew up to be able to fight against Correct. a lot of these systems. For real. But when I come into the house and I see how it happened, mm -hmm. and I'm like, okay, I see all the loopholes, how they were able to get inside this house. Yeah, There's so many ways they can get inside yeah. your house. But now they didn't put this phone in your hand. All facts. In your kids' hands, and you didn't gave them the phones. You going live. Now you don't even, they. you could be right there with the kids Period. and they programming and they the kids, there. right? All facts, all mm. facts. That that's real talk. And then we have to understand, especially in the black community. Mm -hmm. You know, we was the first stock that was ever sold, right? You know what I'm saying? Period. So when you understand that, you understand the dynamic of how it's set up, and eventually we're gonna have to figure something out because again, the government is making the adjustment, and the sad reality is, as long as we broke, everybody else is eating. Hey, that's why I said, like, they got it so set up where no matter how you feeling, they're going to they gonna make money. They're going to make regardless. If you're happy, you're going to go spending. Facts. If you're sad, you're going to need some pills. All facts. If you're trying to get out here and go to work, it ain't no living wage jobs out yeah. here. So, and and, 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 and no entrepreneurship. So what I'm saying is we got to regroup, rethink, and reshape. All facts. And long as we look outside of us. We go, we lose. We, we, we gonna always we choose lose. choosing to lose, and that's no why doubt. I always say you can't reach outside all the time. Now, again, Sometimes you gotta go from within, build it from facts. within, and work your way out. And that's the key, because again, we were built to go without outside of ourselves. Mm -hmm. If you think about everything external, mm -hmm. it's at our at our demise. You know what I'm saying? And we, we dread it. Go, yes, we do. We, we dread it. We run to it. Now, hold on. We dread building from the inside. We it's run away scary, from it. Tori. It's almost like I just want to be better than you. Again. Not we, better than those that are that have businesses set up in my neighborhood. It's systematically Not better set up. than those that are competing against nope. us for, you know, nope. whatever. You know, whatever reason. It's like we're not only you. in competition Facts. with everything else, but we're in competition with each other. Facts. But that was uh, systematically done. You're, you're correct. So so that wasn't natural. That's not even a natural thing it's to not, do. But, but that, we, that was the authorization that yes. came with the drugs. And that we normalized came with the, it. The systems correct. that came with the, the grant monies correct. and the nonprofits and things like that. Yes. And, and we normalized it. So now if you're used to living in the lie, you're going to fight like hell against the truth. Mm. Because, because it's uncomfortable. Because the lie is keeping you alive. Period. Which really ain't going to be, you ain't going to last long. But All facts. Uh, when you build your whole foundation on a lie. Yeah. Then you you try to, you're going to undo yourself. But that, a lot of people don't want to undo that. They don't want to undo it's themselves. It's sabotage yeah. And again, this system is going to do everything they can for you not to be able to do that. Right. And in reality, this is what we're saying, J even down to the simplest point that if you get five black people in a room, one going to say they're African-American, the other one going to say they color. You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> even to that, like we, we can't Man. agree on it because we've been given this on purpose. Plus the, the male female dynamic. That, Black man okay, and woman. Okay, they, they raise the female up over the black male, refused to give the black male certain uh, opportunities, gave the female the opportunities. Correct. Now the female have taken the role that they may not want to give up. 
it, it, I don't even think it's even about us giving it up. Like I said, I'm if, talking if, about if, if, if logically. Again, I don't think that we don't want to give up. I think it's just a reality because, again, this is a, a information machine that they push certain data to us and we're quick to bite because, again, right. we're playing a game of trying to prove to them that we're worthy and in the whole time they just stole our identity. Well, the thing is, I think that many times with the knowledge that's out here, a lot of people are afraid of the truth many times. like It is. They scary. don't want to understand that a lot of the philosophies that were taught yes. were not true. And, and they're not, but and, again... And they built, they told their kids, told their family members, if you do this, facts, this is the way to go. But then think about this, Tori, in reality, you know, and I went through this myself personally. Um, I was everything to everybody else. And again, in the lie, you know, you got your doctorates, you know, you able to open up certain conversations because you can say, you know, I got these letters behind my name. But when you take away the illusion, when you take away what it is that they told you you was, because in reality, you know, you still a black man, a woman when it comes to this system, you know, but to step outside of that, you ask yourself, who am I outside of who they told me I was? or who I represented. Mm -hmm. when, when you start to live the truth, then you really got to go to doing the work. And a hey. lot of people, hey, that's a scary feeling. Hey, look, I'm going to tell you this. When I started peeling back everything Come that on. I Come on. was taught, mm -hmm. you know, I realized I was a part of the problem. Come on. <laughs> you know, once I started peeling the layers back Come on. on me. Come on. So I apologize for, for, for not understanding or nobody was there to teach me. I had to go and seek that knowledge. A lot of and, something, and sometimes people are not going to be there to tell you the Facts. information. Facts. Sometimes you got to do a little soul searching. You got to do a little research. You got to do a little digging. All facts. Because everything is not going to be handed to you yes. or told to you. And many times your lack of knowledge and ignorance is going to profit somebody. Every so time. why would I educate you Facts. when I'm making money off it? When you the reason off I'm of your eating. ignorance, right? Correct. Damn. And everybody's eating but us. <laughs> you understand? So Thanks. again, racism is a group. It's a group idea. And we're the only group of people that have been fed individual uh the thought process of being an individual. Well, I got, well, I did, you know, it's the I, me, and my. Hey. Why everybody else. I'm gonna tell you right now, when I went to when I bought my first house in the and I was out in Minnesota, like everybody in the neighborhood cut their grass, made sure everything was uniform. Right. Because they knew together they they can keep the value. Correct. And when we understand that, just that. Yeah. If we work together, you keep the value. Mm -hmm. When you don't work together, you lose value. All facts. But again, we're a people that was also mentally told that we were never we never had value. And so we find value in cars and clothes right. and things like that. And we're the only people, what like a... you said, when you bought your first house, look at the black people and how many own own houses. Right. But the thing is, you don't know certain structures till you elevate facts. your mind to get over there. Period. And that's all I'm saying. And, and sometimes you got to elevate to see correct. what they not going to teach you. And that's what the Tory Lowe yeah. show is doing, right. having you better, people think for themselves. You better elevate to it Open because sometimes mind. it ain't yeah. going to be nobody there that's going to tell you. That's why you got to seek development correct. within self so you can get to some of the information because yes. it's not going to be there for you if you're not willing to make the sacrifices to hey. get there. Hey, look, when we come back, we got Brother Kim in on the lines. And we got some talk to text and some chat. We're going to try to get to it all when we get back. Truth Nation. Stay locked in right here on Tory Lowe. The Tory Lowe Show returns after this on 1017 The Truth. The Truth app at 1017thetruth.com. Hey, Milwaukee, my name is Martina, and I'm with the Independent Living Supports Pilot Program team. We help adults 55 plus and those 18 plus living with disabilities, providing up to $7,200 for home services, medical equipment, home modifications, and more. There's less than 30 days left to sign up for this program. See if you qualify today. Call 414-289-6874. Again, that's 414-289-6874. This program is made possible by Milwaukee County and Wisconsin Department of Health and Human Services. At UW Credit Union, our home loans have everything you need for your next big step, including up to $750 off closing costs for all home buyers, and first-time buyers can save even more. So if you're ready to trade roomies for more room, or your town home for an out-of-town home, UW Credit Union will be with you from start to furnished 
UW Credit Union. Apply online today. Equal housing lender. Credit may be limited as required by program. Visit uwcu.org for details. It's time for Truth Takes, a thought-provoking commentary on the new 1017 The Truth. Here is Telly Hughes with his truth. How many times have we been told perception is reality? Look, I'm not here to dispute that, but as true as that statement is, it couldn't be further from the truth when it comes to social media. The way we perceive something or somebody on social media is typically nowhere near how things are in their real lives. Unfortunately, identifying the difference between people's online life versus their real lives gets compromised because people want it to be real. And that's okay. What's not okay is people trying to live up to these fictitious lives that's being presented and getting thousands of likes. You often see posts of people on vacation with the caption, living my best life, or so-and-so doesn't owe me anything. Again, nothing wrong with that. But I wish people would view social media like they do SportsCenter. On those type of sports shows, they only show the highlights of the game. Highlights. On social media, you're only seeing the highlights of people's lives because you probably won't get many likes on a post that shows you stressing over having more bills than money and trying to figure it out. The point is, don't get caught up trying to live up to something that isn't even real. Influencers are going to influence, and some have made a hefty living doing so. But happiness isn't a one-size-fit-all contraption. Create your own happiness. Plan out how you're going to obtain it, and then protect it the same way you would guard your most prized possessions. This has been Truth Takes on the new 1017 The Truth. Listen to The Truth Be Told with DT and Telly weekdays from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. This is the Bloomberg Black Business Beat. The collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore was stunning, and we're still learning what the long-term impact might be. One aspect that could be easy to overlook is what the collapse might mean for Baltimore's local economy. That problem will need to be solved in part by two black leaders, Maryland Governor Wes Moore and Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott. Scott talked about the potential economic ripple effect while speaking to reporters in the immediate aftermath of the collapse, citing the significance of that port to the region's workers. It is the largest for car import and export in the country, and we have to understand uh, the impact that that's going to have on uh, the workers. That audio courtesy of ABC. And with Baltimore's large black population, any disruption to the local economy will disproportionately affect black families. I'm Bloomberg's Justin Milliner on the Black Business Beat. It's the Tory Low Show on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. Nation. Join the Truth Team on Saturday, April 13th for our third annual Tory Low Community Cleanup. We want you to go to truthcommunitycleanup.com to sign up to be a volunteer to help keep Milwaukee clean. Everyone who joins get free lunch provided by Cousin Subs. Register today at truthcommunitycleanup.com, the Truth communitycleanup.com to clean and beautify our city together. The Truth Community Cleanup is sponsored by Cousin Subs, Waste Management, and Safe and Sound. Hey, also Truth Nation, is it the 10th? Okay, that was on the 10th. April is Financial Literacy Month, and the truth has you covered on learning about how you can best manage your finances. All April, we will speak to representatives from Educators Credit Union to discuss financial strategies and tools that they offer their members to help enhance your financial management skills. Financial Literacy Month on the award-winning 1017 The Truth is sponsored by Educators Credit Union, achieving more together. Hey, look, we got Elizabeth Brown in the building. Hey, yo. Hey, look, I, I hope y'all done got registered because it's going down. It's going down Saturday. Hey, look. And the weather's supposed to be nice. 
Hey, look, I'm going to tell you right now, we got a lot of people that's registering, and I appreciate Truth Nation for getting out, being active. Yes. You know, we talk a lot on the air. Hey, but we got that but I do a lot of I do way more walking now. Y'all I know I'm on the air for three hours, but I'm <laughs> hey, it's, I'm never off the clock when it comes to advocacy. Hey. So I'll tell you I am appreciative to everybody that has signed up for the cleanup. We're gonna have another powerful cleanup this year. Yes, sir. Hey, go to truthcommunitycleanup.com and sign up. And come on out. Have a little good time. Have fun. Have fun. great conversations and let's beautify our city together. That part. We got Mike, we got Kimmy on the lines. Kimmy, you on the new 1017 The Truth Tap In. What's going on, family? How salute, you doing? Salute. How you doing, brother Kimmy? Salute. Hey, listen, can 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 we sweep up some politicians and some gatekeepers? Mm. <laughs> mm. Can we sweep a couple of them into the garbage bag? <laughs> hey. Part. For real, for real. Deposit across, deposit across the ocean for me. <laughs> hey, look, uh, hey, look, I'm going to tell you this. If they didn't vote them out this last election <laughs> cycle, I think they got four years to, to keep doing what they've been doing. Man, better, better get the recall and where are all at? <laughs> <laughs> That's one way we can do that. Let, let Al just heckle them, just heckle all of them. But, yo, you know, I, I called in because I, I did hear um, – to the elder that was uh, um, the lady that called in, teenage pregnancy is not it. If you if you know the stats, you know teenage pregnancy has actually plummeted. It it went like it like like eighty percent, man, pretty much. It's it's down. Like yeah. you, you're not walking around seeing a lot of young ladies that are pregnant. Like like you know when it was a booming at one point when they were like, oh, teenage pregnancy, it dropped by like eighty some percent. Well, they got a lot of things out here that they can use, like a uh, Plan B. They got more right. options than, and All they got the, the thing but that they can of stick these in their arms too. Getting dogs, you know, it's it's a dog era. You know? Like they got mm-hmm. dogs, they treating like kids at, at this point. And they got the thing <laughs> yeah. where they can put in their arm the birth control. IRD, that can, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Depo, and and I want to say this, you know. This is program madness. I, I think the number one thing is that if you understand America, man, like, you know, you weren't studying us when we were in captivity. You know what I mean? But as soon as we walk out, here come all these studies, man. That's like I tell people, you know, 95 to 99% of the studies that you hear are false. Yep. They're fake. And we, but we have been inundated with them so much. I mean, we have to look at that, people. You know, like, they'll come back and say, well, all brothers are not working and they're not, you know. And we talked about this before. I think, Liz, we talked about yeah, this. we did. You know, about how they they, they, they talk about uh, black women are in college, right? Correct. And and then they, they, they give you that, and they, they give you that scenario, and you say, oh, black men ain't going to college. Man, black men are out here making $100,000 as barbers. Black men are out here. As electricians making over 100k, Correct. you know plumbers. what I mean. Black men are plumbers. Black men are on the police force. Black men are in construction. See, they don't tell you anything if you don't know better. Black men, your mechanic, you know, your mechanic is making 60 grand. You know what I mean? 70, 80 grand. You know what I mean? A year. They leave that out, but we run with it. All oh, black men are in your life. I mean, hell, your weed man making money. You go to him every day. <laughs> He's making money. All facts. <laughs> All facts. So, a man with a plan so, going to make money. Come on. And that's why I said, like, they twist us, and then we get into these these little clusters, and we talk crazy to, to each other. Man, yeah. I, I've heard numbers. This brother came on there and said 95% of black women, you know, raising children by themselves. I was like, Negro, nice. where did you get that yeah. number from? We just they make just up things. They just said black men so... are the most active fathers out that, of all the cultures. Fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Hey. Because look. when they go to putting these statuses together, again, they say not married. That don't mean it's not a man in the house, you know? So. Hey, uh, 6501 says these systems are very sadistic toward us, and we as black people respond in the opposite manner. Hey, when we come back, Elizabeth Brown, I want to get your final thoughts on the show today. Hey. Truth Nation. Stay like them right here on Tory Lowe. Don't touch that dial. The Tory Low Show will be right back on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. 
Truth Nation, it is Denise Thomas from Truth Be Told with DT and Telly, and I am so excited for you to tune in to our monthly interview with Old National Bank. Old National Bank will be joining us to discuss why they are so committed to supporting women and people of color owned businesses while also discussing their empowerment loan program, which can provide your business access to funds up to $5 million. So don't miss our Truth Be Told monthly interview with Old National Bank at 8 a.m. on the award-winning 1017 The Truth. The Empowerment Small Business Loan Program, we're talking about up to $5 million, which for small business owners, we need that. That's like payroll, that's resources. So can you just let us know what is the program and why is this lending program so important to Old National Bank? Years ago, our uh, CEO, Jim Ryan, this program is his brainchild. He was working with Roland Shelton, who yes. you know, Denise, out of Evansville. And they identified that African-American business owners, uh, Hispanic business owners, Native American business owners, as well as women business owners, had a difficult time in obtaining financing from the traditional credit partners. And so we went out, created a program, launched it last year, 2023. And so far last year, we have helped over 100 successful minority and women-owned businesses with about $25 million in loans. We have already started wow. this year with almost $8 million in approvals, again, geared toward minority business owners and women business owners that normally had difficulties in, in obtaining a traditional credit finance. Looking for natural solutions to ease your mind and body? Find your calm and get cozy at Torch CBD with their hip infused teas or boost your health with broad spectrum CBD products from CBD infused cooking oil, honey and coffee to body creams, edibles and smokable flour. Torch CBD located at 3419 West State Street in Milwaukee is ready to help with all your trauma, anxiety and sleep issues. Stop by Torch CBD today and relax your mind. Ever feel stuck in a mental maze, endlessly spiraling? Sometimes an encouraging reminder helps. Be Sad, Keep Going is a mental health and wellness brand by Marina Miranda Creative that reminds you it's okay to feel sad as long as you keep moving forward. By embracing your emotions, you're not just improving your health, but rewriting the narrative for generations to come. Join the movement today and claim 10% off their range of apparel using code KEEPGOING10. That's KEEPGOING10 when you visit marinamirandacreative.com. Be Sad, Keep Going is dedicated to improving mental health by reminding you of your resilience. One call, that's all, Gruber Law Offices. If you or a loved one is ever injured in an accident, you should hire a law firm with proven results who stands up for victims and takes the burden off your shoulders. Gruber Law Offices has been serving our community for over 35 years and provides the best care, service, and consulting with no fee until they win your case. Visit gruber-law.com or contact them at 414-276-6666. Make one call, that's all, with Gruber Law Offices. You are listening to The Tory Lowe Show on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. Are you ready for summer? Cousin Subs and Summerfest are teaming up. Once again, for the return of the world's largest music festival with a special ticket offer, simply place an order online at CousinSubs.com for $30 or more from now through April 30th and receive a free weekday Summerfest ticket. This offer is not valid in store. One qualifying purchase per day per email will result in a free weekday ticket. Cousin Subs, we believe in better. For a complete list of rules, visit CousinSubs.com backslash Summerfest. Hey, Elizabeth Brown, another one, it's another powerful conversation. No doubt. Chicken P, you know, uh, salute to that young man. Salute to all Milwaukee, uh, especially our young people that that's super talented who are, you know, um, getting the recognition that they should have mm -hmm. and, you know, knowing what it is that we know. Um, it's a new day, and I think a lot of us understanding that, you know, we got a chance and a choice every day, and we choosing to win and not choosing to lose. So, I mean, today was powerful. Right. You know. And, look, I enjoy having conversations about how we can build Correct. ourselves, Correct. build from the inside. You Being self-sufficient. Working together. 
that part to make progress. Again. And I think that many times that get lost it when does. we talk about solutions because we always want to go outside yeah. and hopefully we can bring something mm -hmm. back in. Mm -hmm. But all the help is on the inside. All facts. And we got to stop, you know, looking to what the past was. It was that for a reason. Right. You know, and build from that. We have to make sure that we, we stay in present times and understand that we have the past to look back at. But we in new times and we have to adjust to what's happening right now. And I think being present and having real life conversations, especially for our people, to know that we have the power to be the change that we're speaking about because we have changed everybody else's lives. We have enhanced everybody else's lives. Even in our brokenness, even in our darkest hour, we've been light for other people. And I think modern day right now it's time for us to be everything we've been for everybody else for ourselves and i think we're moving in the right direction hey it's time to get some needle and thread hey and stitch that hole in the cake hey one thing we can't be flying out the door with the cake with the hole in it hey we gotta walk we gotta start dealing with each other that means we gotta time sew to that hole you. up yes and get back into the neighborhoods roll up our sleeves and get to work and can't nobody do it better then us, you know, the, the originators. Hey, come on, come on. <laughs> hey, every black man, woman, and child, look here together. We can do it. Oh, get it. we got Senator Ron Johnson coming through tomorrow. Hey, we got Justin from uh, Cousin Subs coming through tomorrow. Hey. Tomorrow gonna be Friday, gonna be packed. That's good. Ain't nothing like hey. a packed Friday, it's gonna go fast, just like today had. But salute to Truth Nation, DJ Brother Z. Thank hey. you. Hey, I love you, King. You too, Queen. <laughs> hey, look, I appreciate you for being on these front lines as usual. As always. And we got a lot of work to do. Let's get it. One love. All right, DJ Brother Z. All right, Tori Local Waterfall. Let's get it. And all right, Truth Nation. Thank everybody for tapping in to the show today. Join me tomorrow for another great conversation. Look, keep your head on the swivel. Be safe. And you know I love you. Dr. Ken Harris up next. If you are my home.